late night. Apologies for starting a little bit later today. I was attending my best friend's graduation. Which Brian, was we yeah. love you. Yes, Sorry. we yes ah. we yes we do. Trust me. Eventually, because the problem is they had a couple hundred people they had to graduate. So, yeah. me, me, myself, and Alex, uh, you know who Alex is, of course. Yeah, 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 we yeah. decided to start based on the names we heard. We started assigning D and D classes to them. <laughs> Based on their names. No, Good Glaive is the best paladin name. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Good Glaive. Man, that, that sounds like a strong Monster Hunter name. Yeah, I know. That's, it's me, yeah, it is, yeah. Gavin Good Glaive. Uh, I want to thank everyone dropping subs here. A script Daddy gifting a sub to Monticlue. Uh Monty is now a year older because yesterday it was Monticlue, our DM's birthday. So all Happy the belated birthday. Happy Birthdays to Monty. Hooray. Happy Birthday. <laughs> I regret uh, everything. That's night. true. We are. I, well, I, I, well, I. It was, it was, it was really fun. I had a lot of fun, but man, waking up this morning wasn't fun. Mm. But I wasn't hungover. I was just very tired. Blackfoot ferret, thank you for the over nine thousand bits. Rainbow grenade. Oh my god! All two hundred and fifty rainbow stickers to everybody. I love this new thing you were saying, Nadine. Like these. Uh, this, yeah, uh, this, the pride this... stuff. It's super fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's there's like a rainbow fish one. And I right love there. It. That one's my favorite. Is oh. I, I'd, be astounded. I'd be astounded if they didn't keep these as globals going forward. They, they, should, are, they have they... the Christmas ones. They kept mm -hmm. the Christmas ones. So why wouldn't they keep these ones? These Marcus, so much fun. Oh, Marcus here with 2,500 bits. Happy belated birthday, bits. You are the Matador. If you want to get birthday bits in Nadine, Monty, never, go, go over to Monty's I, stream and definitely do that. I, I never screamed it, apparently. I, I, someone's like, I'm like, Dice Cream, I'm a matador, and they're like, surprisingly, no, you didn't. I'm like, what? No, you didn't. You didn't. Apparently, I threatened to kill so, like, I threatened, I threatened to kill people if they ever made lime sad. So that was yeah, the thing that that's happened. That's true. You, you, uh, you also, you threatened me a lot, but that's just, that's just sober stuff. That's, that's yeah, the dragoon thing. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> that was that, that might that was peak peak podcast moment there. Nackley Paul, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you for all for the subs and bits here. Real fast, we gotta get through introductions as quick as we can. Monty, where can they find you? You can find me at Montiglu at Montiglu on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Montiglu. There will not be a stream tomorrow. I need to sleep, please. Um, but I will be redoing, I will be continuing my streams on Sundays with Divinity 2 Original Sin. We are the baddies. We're awful. We shouldn't be the heroes. Yet we are, and our gods might be evil, but we're not sure. But uh, that's with me, myself, uh, uh, Distortion Devil, Seen how Connor, uh, Creator, <laughs> Shinigami Eater, <laughs> and Midnight Kai. So, <laughs> hit us up there. You forgot me for a second. <laughs> No. That's, a, that's a lot of people. Remember, no, you can't you, you can't spell Connor thing. without who. No. <laughs> I said, you, no, you, you you kind of fumbled a little bit. That's all we're making fun of. What I said, I literally said distortion you devil. Said, uh, 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 Connor. distortion devil. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, right. Man, you, it's like it's like. Do I use Sp the Connor? Or speaking of distortion the... devil, where can they find you? I guess. Twitter, Seen Snake. I guess. Twitch, distortion devil. I, if you Tuesday, want wrestling. <laughs> Friday, uh, or Thursday this week, also wrestling. Uh, Saturday, Friday, Friday Funhouse. Actually, probably not this Friday because I've got rehearsal dinner for my uh, sister's wedding. Uh, Saturday, we'll see. Uh, maybe Witcher Three. I don't know because wedding stuff as well. Uh, and Sunday is going to be Divinity Two. Awesome, Zeno. Where can they find you, baby? You can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. No particular timing of when I'm going to do this, but there will be more 4 a.m. brain D&D writing. There will be more Mordhau. There will be more Adventures of Eep. And there will also be this fun little game called I'm on Observation Duty. It is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's the FNAF, but uh, the more anomalies that happen on screen, the more you're going to die. And the anomalies can range from, oh, this fork is lifting off the table to a ghost might be wanking off in the bathroom. Yikes! The pretty, the zero to one hundred, pretty quick there, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was a little extreme. Uh, a bit, a smidge, a sm, a smidge. Speaking of Goomba and extreme men, hi Goomba. Hey, how you doing, Where buddy? Where can they find you? Uh, here on Mondays uh, at uh, two p.m. U.S. Central Time, where we do Yes is Love Adventure. Uh, go and want to die. Uh, you can also find me at twitch.tv for slash Gaijin Goomba. There will be no weekend stream. I will be in Houston for Retropalooza. However, I normally stream every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh, I'm going to be doing a early afternoon stream tomorrow of Neo because Neo 2's alpha was so fucking good. And uh, I have resurrected the uh, Pokemon Yokai Luck where we use Pokemon only inspired by folklore fantasy creatures. 
that's been a lot of fun. Uh, we dropped some lore, dropped some shocks, and uh, yeah, that be me. Alrighty, real quick before we get started beyond this, and thank all the wonderful people for donating subs and bits here. Uh, bit of a technical issue with OBS. Don't know why. Can't stream Roll20. We'll not be picking up the browser, so we gotta figure out a, a tech issue. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we shall be in the theater of the mind. I mean, that's what D and D really is. It's oh. Redfield 88, thank you for the thousand bits. Bits for the war effort, thank goodness. Thunder King 8 with a thousand bits. Here's some clover bits for good luck. May all the nat 20s come your way. I will not say nat 1 once. Daisy Head with 500 bits. New Crow Knight Pokemon is Greckles and Remy's son. Don't at me. <laughs> <laughs> he really is! Overlord Cornet, thank you for the sub. Uh, Script Daddy with the 500 bits. Wait, how many people did Monty send down the waterfall this time? I'm having flashbacks to the New Year's birthday. To the I New Year's. Think, I don't know. 500 bits. I really Sumi, oh, on the rubble, thank you for the 300 bits. Captain actually with a 200 Merry, Merry Birthday bits. Rand Cossack, Burninator. Thank you so much all for the subs. Uh, Nerdy Gaming Inc., Ryaku Moonscar. Uh, Boo Radley, 07 Headshot 07. Oh, Edward Bosco, Zacho Duo. Thank you all for the support, guys. Thank you all for the subs and bits. Should we get right into this, Monty? Should we just... Do, 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 is there anything else you want to say? Anything else? Uh, no, I think and we're good. I just, I'm going to ask you, if you can on OBS, take that text you have on the on the top and bring it down to the bottom where it's a little bit more noticeable, just because I didn't see that right away. And oh, maybe, I put it, maybe, oh, wait, un maybe underneath, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Yeah, put that on underneath the on the wood below, so just click and drag it down there. I, 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 okay, I'm going to have to change the color so it sticks out more. Sure. Yeah, turn it black or something like that. All right, got to select a color. All right, I'm on a color palette. What do we got? Add black. Black. A tertiary color. Orange. Black. Deep. Black is good. Black is good. Cowards. Cowards a lot of you. Hey, I said pink. <laughs> pink is the poor man's red. We went over this, Gaijin. Look, just because it, it doesn't have enough red doesn't mean that's not a good enough color. <laughs> Alright, folks. Everyone's pushing orange. <laughs> orange is getting... Monty, do you need a couple minutes to set up? Uh, I'm I'm good to go. You're good to go. Alrighty, folks. Yeah. Uh, Monty, take us away. When last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Greckles the Kinku Rogue, and Borky the Orc Barbarian, the party has spent a nice week home at their home of Alavas. However, a foreboding haunting looms over the party. A woman in the Underdark resembling Panic, secrets of the past, and the call of the Underdark itself as the party prepares and collects themselves, the morning call of the city plays a melody over the looming mysteries of the continent of Alabast. So as you guys awaken, uh, I'd like to start first with a task that uh, Task, haha, wants to do. Um, you have the crown double crown helmet. Yay. And you've been dealing with that. Um, using your connection, specifically with mostly Doros, because Doros is probably the most holy person you know besides Athena, and this is kind of more towards his sort of knowledge. Of expertise. Yeah. Um, Doros actually takes you to a, one of the middle districts, specifically the Middle Arcana district, to a very ramshackle house that looks like you would get stabbed if you were to go there. Oh, good! <laughs> um, and it's, like, really creepy and, like, like murderer's house. Um, there's, like, cages all on the outside of oh. different wire cages with, like, various dead any, animals. Any wagons up on cinder blocks. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Are there unattended children? Do they have juice uh, stains on their mouths? <laughs> uh, there are wizards, which, I mean, I, I, like, they're kind of, like, going about their business. Um, and as you kind of proceed forward to this, it's like, Doris is very much kind of like, it's very creepy. You get a very strange sense to this building. Um, and Doris is just walking like it's another Tuesday. Granted, Doris is a guard. He's dealt with criminals, so he's you're also, not sure at this he's point. He's also if like it's, seven feet tall, too. So yeah, but he's like, not invincible. Is um, this his beat? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, so as you begin to move forward to the house, uh, what would you like to say? Um, Doros, I uh, can't help but notice that our environment's a little, uh, scummy. Are you sure this is okay? 
he looks down to you. His eyes kind of narrow to you, and he looks at the house, and he kind of you see this like dawning of realization. He goes, kind of goes like this, oh, like sort of face. And he looks down, and he goes, gives you like a nod, like yeah, eyes closed, nods to you. Uh, then I'll allow you to open the door first, man. You know what's going on. He nods. Uh, he proceeds forward to a door that is definitely way too small for him, um, and slightly shorter than a human's door. Uh, he ch opens up the door for you, and immediately you're hit with the smell of taxidermy. You smell uh, incense, you, you smell uh, hot silver, um, and you smell just, it's just this egregious bombardment to the nostrils as you walk in. It's like- hmm, This place smells of death. <laughs> as you walk in, you see um, a few things to start. The first thing you see is a entire wall of this room, this kind of like quasi shed, an entire wall, floor to ceiling, with different crossbows of different makes and different um, from different locations around the world um, of various, various different races. You do notice one that is definitely a drow crossbow. You see one that is definitely a lizard folk crossbow. Um, and from floor to ceiling, you see it. There's this, this very ramshackle counter. It's made out of various different crates that have probably just been repurposed. Um, oh my god. And Played on one of the walls in a glass case is a very strange creature. I want you to roll a knowledge religion for me. Oh my god, I'm in the Alavas equivalent of Florida Man's house. <laughs> oh no, not Florida Man. Arcana, you said? Yeah, uh, a religion. Religion. Oh, religion. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. Oh, oh, for fuck's sake, and that one. It makes sense, though, because yeah. you would never have seen this before. And like you look at it, and you're like, you're immediately your brain, you like your face goes pale, and your brain goes, oh my god, it's a cobalt. Like your your heart kind of stops, and you look at Doros, and Doros is just kind of like gently, like kind of like pawing at like this weird antler chandelier on the roof, like kind of like pushing it slightly. I, I, I snap my fingers to get his attention. Hmm. Does he turn? He turns around, and looks at me. I clone high hands at the fucking taxidermied <laughs> me. Mm -mm. He kind of shakes his head to you, like, no, that's not you. Uh, and he like he kind of he picks you up like by the waist, just kind of picks you up and lifts you up close to the gas uh, the glass case, and you see in a very intricate calligraphy, uh, taxidermy of a um, oh shit I gotta find the name actually hold on of a does he, of iron does he, does he pick does he pick, does he pick... It's, it's it's a taxidermy of a Zargrel imp. Whoa. <laughs> its wings are. Pinned to the back like a butterfly, and you see the various different like organs and entrails labeled out and perfectly like, um, what's the word? Uh, maintained. What's the word? Oh, preserved? God. preserved. Preserved. Thank you. Preserved. Like it's dry and like all swollen in, like shrunken in, but you can easily detect each what each part is each essentially. Oh man, um, it's got like that extra fluffing, so it makes it look like it's like round, like a coat, like a fucking like a cylinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really <laughs> like it's gross, and like the moment you're lift up and you kind of hit the glass, there is glass, but you smell like just like oh god knows what is preserving this thing, but you smell it, and it definitely is not smelling super great. Okay, well, mm. Doros, thank you for bringing me to this uh, house of horrors. If there was, if this was in any other situation, I'd actually find this interesting. But uh, who lives here, and why are we here? Mm, he walks over and you hear a ding as he presses the bell and you hear some some rumbling in the back and you watch as a man walks out a halfling um grizzled black beard big mustache um and he's wearing like a cowboy hat kind of like a hat kind of like a cowboy hat with like a slightly wider and flatter brim and like layered on this cowboy hat are melted candles that are still lit i want this man to go <laughs> now son <laughs> He they walks out in Slayer. a. Oh my god! He walks out in a very nice, almost Circadian esque sort of like long coat with buttons on either side. There is a massive crossbow on his back, and he is clutching onto. The, around his neck is like a ring of garlic, and you see like five different holy symbols around his neck, like like five different ones all splayed out. And he like pokes his head out and he goes, "What do you want?" Uh, he looks up at Doros, and Doros just gives him a little wave, and then points down to you. Um, hello, sir. That's a uh, kobold, not a demon. He looks up to Doros, and Doros, like, gives him a nod, like, I, I know. Like, kind of nods and takes off his helmet, back. and he shows him mm -hmm. the helmet. 
This is from a... Oh, God. A crown. This is from a crown devil. Every six months, the devil keeps coming back to trying to reclaim its horns. I either want... I'm looking for someone to either stop that altogether or to destroy this properly. Nah, boy, you got exactly what I need. Mind if I take a look? By all means, I hand it to him. <laughs> it thuds to the ground because he's not expecting to be as heavy as it is. And kind of oh. <clears throat> lifts it up. Um, kind of looks around. Well, you're, you're attuned to it, so it's lighter for you. Yeah. Kind of looks to it side to side and goes, Yeah, that's the crown devil, all right. How in hell's name did you get your hands on one of these? Killed it. That's impressive, son. Dangerous work, but impressive. I'm a uh, demon hunter by trade, and he puts it down on the table. You said this thing's been attracting demons, eh? It's been attracting the same demon over and over, the one that I scalped to get this. Well, let's put an end to that. I'll buy it off you. I'll do a trade. <sighs> well, Tash just, like, lifts open, look, looks into his wallet and just, like, watches, like, 50 mods fly out. I only have 200 if that's not worth any service. 200 ain't worth no service. I can't get rid of no curse. It's a demon's curse, son. Ain't nothing to be messing with, unless you're getting some sort of return exchange, which doesn't sound like that's what this is. He spits tobacco that he's chewing, you think. Or maybe it was if breakfast. You have, <laughs> if you have something of exchange that you feel is appropriate, then we can barter something, but more or less, I just want to make sure that no one I know around me is bothered by this thing. Oh, no, I'll use this to trap the demon. I'll sell its parts. <clears throat> or just kill it. That always works. He looks up at the wall. I got crossbows. So that's about all I got. Mm, I'm not really so much a crossbow person. I'm more of just a regular arrow person. Fair enough. You could pay you a thousand gold pieces for this. I'll do it. Eh, he just, he steps off of a stool and walks over to a box. And you watch as he, like, unlocks, like, five different locks on this box. And at this point, you look over, and Doris is, like, kind of touching, like, one of the crossbows. And you hear a twang as it breaks, and he's just like, mm -mm, just kind of moves away from it, pretending nothing <laughs> happened. And the guy comes over with a big bag of gold coins and just psh, puts it on the table and goes, There you are, son. Thank you for well, the business. Mm. Do you sell... If I find more stuff like this, would you buy it off me? Oh, hell yeah. I'll buy anything sort of demon thing, but if I found out you're working with demons, well... You might end up on that there wall. And he juts his head to the, the imp that's pinned to the inside of the display case. Does the imp blink at all? <laughs> no, it does not. It is very much dead. Okay. <laughs> I assure you, I don't hunt anything. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't travel with anything that's demonic in nature. Panic sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> that's devil. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Come on, get it right. No, Devils and demons are different. They're warring over hell. One's one. One is lawful. One is chaotic. Uh, sure. <laughs> Fine. I watched Good Omens. I know what I'm talking about. Uh huh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Tash just like kind of shrugs, looking over at what was once his prize. Just shrugs, and then from his pocket. Uh, he took this with him because not sure if this was going to be fixed or not. He puts on the Sasaurin helmet. You know, you put it on, it fits perfectly. It's a very nice fit. Mm. The the halfling man, very grizzled looking, um, kind of turns in and goes, You find yourself a hunting boy. There's a few things I like. Demon horns are poultry. Got a dime a dozen of them. You get me hearts. You got a deal. Or any trophies of this magnitude. Well, I'm one who likes, uh, when I, uh, hunt anything, I like to go for big game, and sometimes the bigger parts, like maybe the skin, or maybe a head. Careful with the game of demons and devils, son. They don't die, they come back. Officer, he gives a nod to Doros, who's, like, like, try, like, he's pulled back his hands behind his back, like, to not touch anything else, and he just kind of, you can visibly see, like, a sweat drop, and he just kind of nods knowingly and turns around and opens up the door for you. I never got your name, sir. Barnaby Black. Tarask of Iron Oath. I hold my hand out for a shake. One hunter to another. He gives you a solid handshake. For really? Halfling, he's like, <clears throat> he's very, like, thin. Like, you would get the sense for the, with the way his beard is. 
um he's kind of like yosemite sam a little bit but like more yes! <laughs> yeah but like yes! like like more refined you know what i mean like he's like got more you know he's not super super short he's not like a gnome he's he's a halfling um but his his beard is so big and his mustache is so big that it kind of dwarfs the rest of his body oh man most of his face is just cousin it then hell yeah <laughs> yeah um it's well cared for but he still has this like definitely this this sort of just even as he as he shakes your hand he's uncultured but cultured if that makes sense like he's so used to living by he's a bachelor like he's straight up just a bachelor who hunts oh yeah 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 but he like knows to have some courteousness he's not just like a weird you know wild man there's respect to him there's not it's not like he's just some rando living in a hut there's there's nuance to him yeah yeah for sure as as you walk out immediately you get hit with the fresh air and it's like it's like drinking nectar from the air (laughs) which is like a world of difference oh god (laughs) Joros even is just kind of like his eyes kind of change in purse and he kind of looks down to you and gives you this nod like you know was that was that did that work for you like was that good was that what you wanted it was bittersweet putting away a trophy of mine but if it means everyone else around me will be safer I'll deal he kind of grabs thank, your shoulder you. and gives you a thumbs up I give him a thumbs up back thank you he gives you a salute and he heads off towards the upper district I'll Where head back soon? home as where you assume he has work. Yep. I'll head Meanwhile, back home. Uh, back at the tavern, uh, your guys' business has begun again. Uh, you guys have reopened. Um, everyone, all your employees have returned. Um, and you, Waffles is now covering the now door that has been installed that leads into your guys' questionable basement. Uh, so no one is none the wiser. It's also locked. Um, Helga has put three locks on that on that uh, on that uh, cellar door, so no one will go down there. Yeah. Um, and everyone has returned, and Skinny in particular is quite happy. Um, and definitely, Borky, you notice how excited Skinny has been lately uh, as she returns back to work. She got a she got a hop in her step. Oh yeah, hop in her step, song in her voice. Bo- uh, this is well. Tax was out, so the rest of you guys are kind of doing your own little things. There's been little developments. Borky, here Borky's picking his teeth with a toothpick and goes, "Hey, skinny." Oh. Uh, yes. Ah, uh, I got a million dollar. I got a million gold question for you. All Did- right, let's hear it. Well, I'm not be bouncing. You've been a uh, big smile on your face. Did the husband show up? Huh? Oh no! Oh, honey, she like slides into a chair next to you and goes. <laughs> Barky, you wouldn't believe your sweet little heart, the news that I've gotten what? about my sweet husband, Fluffy. Okay, tell me, tell me everything right now. Dish? Okay. Dish? Well, you see, he is getting a promotion to uh, come to Alavas. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah. So that well, means he's coming on by sooner than expected, which is real good. So, yeah. oh wow, I'm just, I'm just happier than a dog in a peach tree. I, I don't know how the dog got up there, but it must be very dexterous. That's but he's so dang exciting having ask, up and down. I, I have a, a big. I, I'm gonna ask you this. I'm not gonna ask you. I'm just gonna tell you the day he shows up, got the whole day off. Don't even ask anybody else. It's just day off, oh. no issue. Bless your heart. Boy. Oh, but oh, like can you? Ima- there's nothing worse than spending time with someone and be like, oh, well, I gotta go to work. I mean, I'm sure he wouldn't be mindful to meet all y'all. No, 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 the first first night you have to get in all the hand-holding that you haven't been doing. That's fair. It's been a while. And, you know, this just makes the heart grow fonder. That's for sure. It's also depressing. Hey, now. (laughs) We've been sending sending letters, and we've been sending, you know, these special things that are like little stones that give you little like illusions of ourselves. That's an Alabastian staple, that is. Hmm. You'll be happy to see me. And I certainly expect everyone is gonna love him. Okay, what but here's the thing. Before you before you head out, I want you to dish one more thing with me. What do you get promoted to? Oh, well he's gonna be in a main armor smith for the Vetrion army here in Alabas. <laughs> That is amazing. Make sure the fur doesn't get too close. Wait. Wait a minute. You got no fur. Ah! I, got, I have none at all. Doesn't get in the food or nothing. Ah. Top Orpentor to appreciate that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there. so does Meryl. But 
My husband, though, he gets his name for a reason. Oh, no, does he have maximum floof? Oh, it's like the utmost top tier floof. Ooh. You would not believe. Okay, I just need to know, as far as when we meet him, can I touch or do I have to ask? I would ask. Okay, okay, I'll ask. Well, Skinny, I shouldn't take away from your job for too long, but thanks for spilling the tea with me. Yeah, yeah, of course. And you take care of yourself. And she of begins course. to walk away. And as she does, you hear a door throw open. Uh, the front door of the tavern. Uh, and Panic, Greckles, and Borky, as you guys are all kind of sitting at the at the table here, um, you see Lustrog. For so long, you've not seen him. How dramatic and is the music? He's back. Oh, sure. <laughs> It's like, dun-dun, like from Law and Order. <laughs> he is soaking wet, and it is a sunny day outside. Welcome back. Yeah, where ah. have you been? Hey, Louis Stroke. Visiting friends. Cool, cool, hey. cool, cool, cool. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll press the digitation his, him, uh, I'll press the digitation him dry. Thanks. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. I got, I got eaten. Like huh. literally. That's crazy. Yeah. I uh, was walking through this field, and there are all these little ponds and stuff, and then they. Oh, started... oh, that oh, happened to Gre that happened to Greckles too. That actually well, did. Yeah, well, it um, took a while for me to get out of that, and I apologize for being late getting back. Alright. Does he it seem? Does he seem, like, t tired or more depressed than usual? Roll an insight check. Yeah. He's hard to read because he has a helmet for a face. Fifteen? Alright, let me roll here. Yes, he is definitely more sad. <laughs> Somehow. I, I take it the trip didn't go well. The trip went well. Just didn't like being back. I guess oh. I didn't have enough flowers for everyone. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. I think I know here where he went. Mm-hmm. Mm. Well, uh, it's good to have you back. Uh, by the way, we did rent out your room. There might be a small bird living in there. Speaking of that, Helga chimes up. <laughs> Seeing as how Alice is gone, and we need another server, I went ahead and hired the tiny little small round thing. You Wait, you mean Kiwi? Yes. <gasps> My best mate! He's now an errand boy. An errand Kiwi. <laughs> we, have our own, we have our own gopher. I see him rolling around with the similar color. <laughs> He's just fu fucking parkouring off the uh, off the walls as he goes down alleyways like that fucking oh. one kiwi who like sees his food. That that, that, yeah, that he hops around, yeah. That reminds me. Did Task make mention of the previous night's happenings and let us know that we have a new guard, <clears throat> or is that still secret? I, I feel like that was a secret. It's I mean, if someone wants to ask me when I get back, I'll it, talk. It's fun if it's a, I mean, it's fun if it's a secret. I think it's, <laughs> it could be a good moment. I mean, panic, panic, and Greckles were like, "Dude, the fuck happened?" Like, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's that's right. That's right. Okay. That's. I mean, that's uh, fine. I just didn't know. Didn't want to meta game. Yes, we fired him. He is doing running about for Ty Borpington and for me also today. He is filing our income. Like, he was a I criminal at some it. point. Why are we giving him the money? Oh, do not tell me this in post! <laughs> we're not... We're not giving him the money. We're just putting him... We're, we're making him do the Did you tell him we don't do crimes here? Well, I'll be sure to remind him that if any of the money goes missing, I will plant a new kiwi tree in the courtyard. Oh! Oh, but then you'd have more kiwis. Oh, they're just butting out of a tree. Woo! <laughs> they get right. Helga there. just sighs. <laughs> I can't. I can't wait until we're audited. By the way. Oh man, that's fun. <laughs> Alavastian auditors leave. We're gonna have an entire adventure of dealing with the Alavastian IRS. Yeah. Oh man. The R.I.P. They call themselves. 
I'm uh, in a, oh, guys, I'm in a fantasy world. Don't fucking put me back in reality. <laughs> no. Helga deals with the taxes. You guys don't. Oh, thank God. That's why Helga's there. All right. Uh, Task, at this point, you've made your way back to the tavern. Very quick trip. Um, a lot of where you went was kind of on the edge of the Arcana district, like right up against the yeah. walls. You kind of just... walk in. Yeah, just walk in, sit at the table. Helga, would you mind a coffee, please? I'll get right on it. Thank you. Now, I heard from someone that coffee doesn't give you energy. It just makes you not tired. It's an illusion potion. Tash just looks over at Borky and turns back to Helga. Yes, Black. Just, just give me the whole fucking pot. I will give you as much as I can muster. Remember, this is not coffee place. This is a Helga place. She, like, walks into the back. Just make it an Irish coffee. It's fine. I, exactly. What do you think she's going to do? She's a part yeah. of <laughs> Yes. So, Tash, uh, where in the hells were you? As was a harp grazed past me. We had words. I fell and hit the floor. I swear, did you trip? No, she beat me senseless. Okay, then why were wow. Something about that doesn't add up. All right, that's that. I, she, you're just walking along, minding your business, and she just beat you up? So you tripped and knocked yourself out. No, I yelled at her to tell me what her problem ah, was with me. Okay, that's uh -huh. it. That, that's it. And then she came at me with lethal force. I decided, I thought it would be an honorable duel, so I put my bow to the side, and I got my ass kicked. I Ooh. now know that she has no honor, and I now know that if she ever comes near me again, and we're not doing this out, and if we're not working together outside of working for Sully, I will kill her. Good luck uh, with that. I'm sorry, uh, she left me in the street on the floor bleeding out, and where I found our new employer who actually helped me with that. As far as I am concerned, Azra Sahar to me is a threat on my life. Wait, dial it back. A new employee? Employer? What? Yes. what, what? I found, I about... found us a new... I know, I found us a new night shift. It's a, okay, ki it's a kiwi? Tass stands up and asks you guys to follow him outside. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. It's just foreboding. Tass stands out in the middle. We are outside in the middle of the courtyard. Yeah, you see he currently log with his vestments that are now at this point filthy. Because he doesn't take them off ever. Um... He's kind of like arms on his waist, looking up as you guys look up to the peak cornermost of the of the the temple. Uh, perched is a very intricate, gorgeous uh, stone statue, currently curled inwards of a gargoyle. Very, very beautiful work. And you see, um, around its neck, apparently, is a garland of uh, like flowers with gears intermixed in it too. <laughs> you watch as Log is looking up, just staring at it. So I look, I look over to Log. I take it he spoke with you? Thank you for the statue. I made it better. Mm. So you got us a statue to watch guard. Remember our old friend Dolmar? Of course. We were not friends. Wait. I know we're not friends. That, that, that poor person up there was one of his experiments. Well, that's fantastic. Wait, do you mean to say that this, that is an actual gargoyle? Yes. Weren't the city guard looking for a third gargoyle that went missing? Apparently so, but he came to, he actually assisted me, came to me and asked for a job, a chance at a normal life, and he wanted to take up, he wanted to take up a night shift as a guard. Whoa, whoa, this is, whoa, that's a lot. That's a lot real quick. Well, uh, can I, I mean, can I, can I do a check real quick to see if, the Alabas guards were like actively pursuing a third gargoyle. Uh, I would say from your experience and also reading the note uh, that was in Dalmar's house, uh, they are definitely pursuing a gargoyle who also has the potential to be a criminal. Um, that's the vibe you get. Um, it definitely was the intention of arrest, not the intention of, you know, concern. But uh, then again, you still have Hasred living with you guys too, so. <laughs> We are morally ambiguous. <laughs> that, that's actually what I was going to bring up. If someone goes, isn't this illegal? We have Hasrod. Technically, Hasrod hasn't done anything illegal that you know of. It's only illegal so if does you this get, guy. It's only illegal-ish. As, as Borky said, mm. just do crimes you can get away with. Exactly. So what are we going to do 
when the Alamas city guard comes well, and actually, uh, sees our gargoyle. Uh, any even bigger question, what's his name? Fuck, Monty, I forgot his name. Then I won't tell you. Oh, for fucks. <laughs> I wrote it down. I... No, no, no metagaming, no metagaming. No metagaming. Oh, you gotta read uh, okay. is it. Is it, is it, uh, is it Rocky? Is it Rocky? I, mean, I, I want to gonna... name him, I want to name him Hunky Punky. Sure, That's good. That's a good name. Yay, Hunky Punk. Punk. Wait a minute. Um, wait, wait a fucking second. Wait a minute. I just got. It. I just got it back. I'm sorry. It's Frank. Frank, huh? Weird human names. Mm -hmm. Frank. 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 So odd. Says a snake next to you, Greckles. Wait, what? We don't. We, I don't think we hear that. You guys, you guys don't hear it. Only Greckles hears the tiny little just, voice. Just, just, I know, right? Like, it's not even really all that creative. Super silly. He just right? slithers away. <laughs> the dean. Gre Greckles looks down and just like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gone. Too late for that. Not <laughs> anime, not anime eyebrows with a squint. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that is a literal Greckles. Nanda. Well, in Nanda anime. kid. Well, in any case, he asked he asked me if he wanted to take up uh, an honest job as being a night guard, and we and Borky said we were in need of that. Actually, that was me, but go on. Oh, are I apologize. We, are we paying him? L listen, I might have I might not remember a lot of things from the other night. All things considered, I got my cave my fucking skull caved in. Oh, it's because you were yelling, right? Uh, maybe let's not bring it up. Uh, are we paying him? No, he told me he would ask for repayment in some way, and that will be my burden to bear. Do we do we know if he like eats food? Uh, he offered me tea, which was just water in a cup. That's what tea is. Mm. That is what tea is, I think. Yeah. No, you gotta you gotta you gotta add some uh, leaf juice. Gra to grass. Cup. You gotta you gotta squeeze grass. Yeah, that's I how you make tea. I don't. I don't. Log immediately does a one eighty and runs into the temple. Oh no. <laughs> I don't exactly know what he wants for payment, but as I said, that will be my responsibility and not yours. Well, I mean, we all own the, the tavern, so I don't know why it wouldn't be. Well, if you want to, uh, as if anyone's more ambidextrous to get up on top of the roof, uh, or wants to wait around until nightfall, you could ask him yourself. Monty, how high is this temple? Eh, it's about two stories high. Uh, is, is there any, uh, guttering, uh, loose you bricks? You could Assassin's Creed your way up here if you have Hell the yeah. rifles. Oh, don't forget, right. is he able to jump off the ledge into a conveniently Leap placed... Leap of faith. <laughs> hay bale. Oh, I should have bought a grappling... Wait, do I still have my grappling hook? You should. You have one, I, I thought. I should still have... Yeah, I should still have my grappling... Fuck it, I'll just grapple hook. All right. I will say still just an acrobatics check because oh, this is absolutely. an unknown structure. Grekel Sekiroza's way up the fucking side of the temple. How sure. awesome would that be to have 26? Oh, yeah. Uh, you begin to climb up quite easily, uh, the scaffolding and the siding of it. Um, there's definitely, like, enough grooves and indates, especially with the gear motif. There's a lot of, like, circular places to, like, kind of sure. get a footing and climb up. Um, as you do climb up, though, your foot slips, and then you feel a hand grab you and catch you before you fall. Ah. And you hear oh. the stone grinding sound as your face is turned into the face of the gargoyle, whose eyes just pierce open, and you just see these yellow orbs behind the, the eyelids. Oh, you must be Frank. Acquainted, yeah. Oh. Can I, can I help you? Uh, just wanted to uh, make your acquaintance. Acquaintance made. Shouldn't be up here. Too tall. Well, it's kind of my job to get up high places. <laughs> oh, this is awkward. Hey, Internally. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look, look, we just wanted to ask, how did you want to be compensated? He kind of leans down and looks down towards, like, the tavern and goes, I'm kind of in between jobs at the moment. Right. If you catch my drift. Absolutely. Everything's gone bottom up for me quite a few times in a row. I've been there. So I'm thinking just for now, just for a little bit, wouldn't hurt just to sit and figure it out. Seems like I'm going to have a lifetime to do so. Well... Do you get hungry or thirsty or anything? Yeah, I don't know. Well, if you ever need anything, just let us know. 
Okay. Greg will step back. Do that you're, you're being minutes. held. You're being held. Oh, by still him held. Okay. Yeah. I would have figured it would let me go by now, but no. Okay. He's hold, he's like holding on to you in like like a crane and like holding you in front of him. He's very big. Yeah. yeah. Like this is not a small gargoyle. This is not like a human sized gargoyle. This is like probably double the size. And he's got four arms and like two legs. Right. And he's like crouching and these big giant wings. I mean, you you can. I'm okay. You can put me down. Just drop you. No, don't drop. Just, you know, if you can turn me right side up, that'd be appreciated. Oh, just kind of takes the other army. He's just slowly, like, just kind of puts you on the side. <laughs> just rotates him. <laughs> just rotates and just places you. This and is he... how the bird is placed on top of the ceiling. <laughs> he brings in his hands and kind of crosses his arms over his chest, and the wings kind of tuck in, and he just kind of closes the eyes. Everyone deserves a second chance, Frank. I'm not looking for second chances, kid. I've had plenty of those. Just want some quiet for a while. Won't That's make fair. any trouble for you as long as you don't go tell the guard about me. You ain't got a problem with that. Mm. Uh, Grekels will start rappelling down then. Okay, roll another acrobatic check with advantage on this one because of the grappling hook. Yay! Hey, it's a natural twenty. That's Easy odd. enough. So you fall on like like firefighter style, like just drop down and you just pull and the the grapple the grappling hook just kind of detaches. Cool. Well. Oh. Apparently he doesn't want anything, and we're not sure if he eats, so best thing to do is just honestly leave him alone. Sweet. I gave him his task, and if he performs them, then he's more than welcome to stay here. Just, everyone, let's keep this a little hush-hush from the general public. Of course. Oh, don't worry. It'll be our little secret. God! Oh. Oh, don't worry, I already know about Frank. He watches Hostards, like, leaning up against the uh, the temple on the other side. Are you taking lessons from Scarbles or something? A little bit, yeah. She's got this way of sneaking uh, around. Very impressive. Greckles looks over at Borky disappointingly. <laughs> what I do? I guess that makes sense, though, Hasrod. I did tell him about you and Log out of everyone else. Yeah, I know about him a little bit. You used to work for those uh, smugglers you guys had to deal with. More of just a brute worker, a watch out, you know, poultry at best. Well, it's actually good that you're here. Do you have any information for us? How much money you got? We already oh, paid wait. you. You already paid me. I paid me. you. That's Test right. That's glares right. at him. That is right. Hey. <laughs> Enough. Hey. Look, we're all friends. Information comes in. Information comes out. I forget. I apologize. Yes, I do have some information. Some of which you might like. All right. So let's hear it. Been rumors some orcs have been coming and trading some things of uh, moderate suspicious value. Not really illegal per se, but questionable in the historical significance. Borky's you know what I'm slowly saying? sliding into frame the whole time he's speaking. <laughs> Tell me more. I'm not talking orcs like you, I'm talking orcs that live here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more. I, 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 am, I am interested in orcs. Apparently, they've been wearing armor made for, you know, drow and other beasties. Things you don't really see on the, uh, surface. Oh. Well, I ain't that These, these yeah. orcs, what do they look like? Oh, I supposed to know. I asked a mercenary about it. He gave me a description. He just what he heard. Any um, idea where these trade, uh, these trade-offs might, might be happening? I think they're trade-offs. They're running and roving in raid packs is what I know. Hmm. Oh, I when, think they have a base to the west, I think, was the last I heard, but uh, there's a salt field between there and here and there. Ah, uh, so. okay, that, tra oh, that, tra that, tra that tracks, that tracks, okay. Yeah, this is sounding like what we what we know. That's good. Thank you very much, Mr. Hasrod. Mr. Hasrod, just Hasrod. And you thank you very much, Mr. H. Hmm. Oh, by the way, you, hmm? he kind of looks to you, Panic. But you play a ditty anytime soon? Um, anytime soon? Probably not. Uh, going to head out relatively soon, actually. Okay, have fun. He just walks away before he goes uh, away. Wait, Cass, bye. Like... Oh, you got 50 gold on you. Task was actually going to offer him 100 for the service. Oh, well. Sounds generous. Ta uh, Houseroad takes the money from Task and looks up to you. There's been a little bit of um, 
recent development at a little band camp I'm sure you're familiar with. Oh, fuck. Mm. What about? Uh, apparently some... What's the word? Um, uh, I put 20 gold in his hand. Instruments have been acting a bit funny, is what I'm hearing. Funny how so. That's all I know. Sorry. Insight. Go ahead. 16? Hosrod's a shit, and he's probably actually telling you all he knows. Okay. Are, oh, is, this, is, is this out of earshot? You guys all hear this. Okay. Hosrod wouldn't even be discreet unless he thought it was worth his while. For this, no. Do you think it's came with us, Panic? I try to play a minor string. Okay. You do, and it works. Doesn't seem like it. I wonder if it's just getting started somewhere like a disease. Probably worth our time to investigate them before we decide to head out. Probably. Do we have time? Right. right. Pass right. Off you go, then. I'm already gone. He's like over, like leaning up against the the, the temple, just like scrunched up, like <laughs> just yelling from face. across the court. I'm already gone. He's just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's, just, he's just already buried in snakes, screaming out his window like an old lady. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Is he gonna become the Squidward of the group? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just without I have uh, some information, unexpectables. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Rehydrated coming out soon, not sponsored. Okay, Borky is just SpongeBob. I mean, like. <laughs> so All right, Patrick let's... would be more accurate, but whatever. He's got both. <laughs> oh. All right, where are you guys heading? Panic is going to gather his things and head towards the musical menagerie. How about that? That's coffee? the musical menagerie <laughs> okay. is is um, Zarv and friends. Yeah, is, I think isn't he that what he was about, talking about? No, he was talking about the the what's what's the, her face? School. The Liversia School for Gifted Children. Oh, uh, I will head there then. Okay, uh, you guys accompany him also. Bork sure, why not? Borky's yeah. going to stay behind, actually. Okay. What would you like to do? Borky is actually going to try and talk to uh, Ron Fault whenever you want to do that. Okay. For sure. We'll do that now. All righty. Borky, uh, like, kneels down in his bedroom and places the sword upon his lap and tries to go to the, go to the, go to the castle. <laughs> okay. Roll a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh. Okay. I gotta roll for Ron Paul's mood. <laughs> That's a two! Uh, sassy mood. You wake up suddenly. What? Borky wakes up? Yeah, you had a little nap. What? Dang it! Try to get into the mind palace. Ron Fault! Mr. Ron Fault! Tap, tap. Smack on the side of the sword. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. What the... Borky oh, grabs a glass of water he had beside his bed and just goes Psh, onto the sword. You're Will you to get... stop? You hear a roar erupt in your mind. Oh, God, you can feel that? I am trying to focus. I sense our common enemy at hand. Do not distract me. Now I have lost my sense. I was gonna ask how you are, but I think I could tell. Um, I, the foe is near. Should I be concerned? I wasn't sure. I was almost there, and then someone dumped water on my beautiful blade. It is quite a beautiful blade. I, I asked because I'm to return to a place where I once experienced still have it is power. 
Then perhaps this is the same place I sense this darkness. Is it a temple? Underground? An Auron temple? I do not know, for my senses do not show me the natural world around me, but the things I have experienced in my past life. Mm. Borky, listen to me. Mm. Number one. If I wish to talk to you, I will. Number two. Do not pour water on me like a child. I am an ancient giant king. And while I may be dead, I do hope for a semblance of respect. And three, if we are to cut down this enemy, no matter what the circumstances is, we will send this thing back from where it came. Do you understand? Absolutely. Good. No, I'm just gonna... Stop talking to that gerbil. Does no one know what it's talking about? But it's so nice and makes good arguments. It's not... <laughs> it does not make good arguments. It is a vermin and it does not deserve the attention you have. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, Borky's like while Bor while he's saying this, Borky's just cleaning the water off with, with just a <laughs> towel. <laughs> now I must focus myself. Can I leave you? All I have is dormant. When we meet this foe. It may be time for you to see the true, true potential of myself. Very well, Ramfort. Goodbye. It bore, it, floor two. And he just, it just disappears. Borky, um, <laughs> bo 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 Borky kind of places him kind of on a weapon stand he has in there, kind of below Athtar's spear. And Borky just kind of about to leave the room to go downstairs to just hang out with the people. Look, looks over his shoulder. If you can sense the water, that means you can feel the blood every time I cut a guy. Jeez, that's weird. And Borky <laughs> says as he's leaving. That's that's right. that's morbid. All right, you head downstairs. Uh, Meryl's around. Uh, Meryl is back in school. Um, you also see uh, Vel uh, and all the various other employees that you have. Uh, Kiwi does come running in with like a stack of paperwork and immediately slams it on the counter to Helga and like salutes like a Boy Scout. Uh, so it's definitely bustling and busyness. You now see um, individuals coming in to dine and get drinks as the midday kind of rolls around. Hmm. Uh, at this point, it's probably like maybe like one to three o'clock ish at this point in time. Um, the other thing you notice, Borky, is you're kind of just schmoozing up with everybody. Is there are constructs that are walking through the tavern towards the temple, and it's not just like like a few. It's like quite a few um, in different like intervals of time. Helga, should we put a sign that says temple that way? I think that they know. That's scary, right? Not really. Okay. A little thing has gone into center of town and talked to them many a time. I'm sure they listen, and then they have not scuffed up the floor, they have not disturbed the guests, and honestly, if they do not bother me, I will not bother them. Hmm? That's fair. Actually, one second. Borky is going to... Where is Vel right now? Vel is outside guarding. Borky her, steps... Borky steps outside. And I said to him, that's not my abs. That's... A, oh, hey, how you doing? What about your abs? Oh, that's not my abs. That's a washboard. Ah. Yes, your abs are quite nice, but, uh... But, like... Borky's just staring down. Anyways, Vel, um, the thing is I wanted to ask you about is, uh... Before I left, you talked to me about this little uh, wrestling event that you yeah. became the champion of. I'm uh, just wondering when the next one is so uh, I could be the champion instead of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. See you try. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Next one is, uh, I think, late summer. Very well. Four times a month. I won the spring tournament. We'll have the summer tournament, then there's the fall tournament, and then the winter tournament. Now, what should I know to prepare myself? Fisticuffs only. Okay. Uh, no cheating, no magic. Well, duh. I mean, I'm not panic, so I mean, I won't cheat. You're sneezing a lot today. I wonder if there's something going around. And the, I mean, it depends on what the, 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 the theme is going on. Because does everyone yeah. start in there, or does everyone come out in intervals? 
Oh no, it's like everyone at once. Ah, uh, battle royale rules. Okay. All right. And it's usually about 30, 20 to 30. Winter time, it'll be about 50. And that's usually when it's like in a warehouse in the crafting district. Okay, it sounds good. Do we have to come up with code names or do we just go in with our actual name? Uh, I'm trying to remember what Bell's last name is. I think it's Rock Crusher. Isn't is it? Ro isn't Rock Fist or? Rock Fist, Stone Fist or something like that. Uh... Bell Rock Fist. Bell Rock Fist, yeah. Hmm. Rock Fist, she goes as Rock Fist. Hmm, I don't want to go as bulky, so I'm a stick of a name. Hmm, now. To listen to people's conversations, to hear weird names. Sporky goes inside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as you guys, the rest of you guys are walking down the city streets. Panic, you get a really, really weird feeling. Like, it's not magical. It's not, like, sickness. You just get this, this really weird feeling. Connor, did you hear me? What was that? Sorry, I think I cut out a little bit. Oh, did you miss it? Okay. Um, as I'm, you... I'm sorry, my my internet had a hiccup. Okay. Uh, as you, Greckles, and Task are walking down the city streets, this, it's a beautiful, like, late spring day. Like, clear skies, partially cloudy, maybe 10% chance of rain. Mm. Um, as you're walking, panic, just kind of like a shiver. You get a really weird feeling. It's not magical. It's not like like you're sick or anything like that. It's just a very off feeling. Uh, does it does it increase as we get closer? No, it just happens and kind of goes away. <sighs> you okay? Just got the really weird feeling in my gut. Feels like that's happening a lot. Yeah. That does. Uh, as you make your way forward, uh, you see uh, the front. There's like kind of like a stone wall around the uh, the Liversea School of Gifts and Children, with like a like a um, iron wrought gate. Uh, the gate is open, and you currently see maybe three paladins currently talking to two guards. Uh, one of which is um, Doros, and another one who looks to be like just a standard city guard. Panic will walk up to them. Uh, excuse me. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. It's Rose. One of the paladins is Rose. H have you seen Scarlet? She... Is she not with you? Just a thousand yard stare. No, I, I assumed she was here. Why? What happened? Uh, Rose kind of looks at Doros and they kind of exchange looks and he kind of jots something down on a piece of paper. She goes, there was... I... I'm sorry, do you mind? And she like looks at the guards and the guards kind of give a nod and kind of step aside as Rose kind of grabs you really firmly by like the upper arm and kind of like pulls you over. Um, she goes, you said you haven't seen Scarlet. No, I haven't. I, I assume she... I, I mean, Starlight is taking care of her for the most part, just... We're gonna we're gonna check and see. Yeah, um, there was a bit of a. Uh, I I don't I don't know what's happening. To be honest with you, the, the kids were supposed to practice first thing in the morning, and, and none of the instruments worked, and all the kids are, are like coughing, and they're not feeling well when they're playing their music. It's like they get sick when are they do it. Of, and... Are any of them coughing up blood? No, 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 none of them. But it's like the breath is taken away from them. Like they just can't do it physically. And, and Scarlet was very upset, and I maybe said some things I shouldn't have, and she's run off, and the other kids are inside, but she's gone, and I don't know where she's gone. I thought maybe she would go and find you. She talks so highly of you all the time, but if she's not here, um, I, I have to stay. I have to put a report in with this. Can you, can you go and see if you can find her, please? Does she, does she have any friends here? She has a couple of friends here, but I, you can talk to them. Um, it, it, uh... Can I ask something? For sure. Uh, Task actually like, puts his hand up uh, and asks, uh, asks her, is there anything that you have that belonged to her? Something I could use to maybe track her down? Yes, yes. Um, let, give me two seconds. I'll, I'll grab one of her friends and I'll grab that too. Um, 
I'll be right back with you. And she looks at Doros. And Doros is very stoic. He's definitely taking the situation seriously. Ken gives a nod. Uh, she rushes in to the temple in about 10 minutes pass. Um, she comes back out. Um, she has a kid kind of being pulled along with her, like kind of half hurriedly. And under the crook of the arm is the tuba that you gave her from the ocean. Um, and she brings up the tuba and she kind of hands you the tuba task, which is huge. It's bigger than you. Well, at this, the, the, the only reason I did this is because I, if I place Hunter's Mark on it, any item I have for investigation or for survival, I have advantage on. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you, you put Hunter's Mark on it. You kind of get the sense of, of Scarlet from this item. You definitely get the sense that she's obviously held on to it. I mean, she wears it and she plays on it, so. So I'm going to uh, leave this behind. I, she was upset. I don't know. She wouldn't usually, but she stormed <sighs> off. God, why am I getting that ones all the time? Task, as you look down at this... I didn't get in that one. I got a seven, but that's a two. Okay. You look down at this, and you're like, you're used to, like, footsteps. You're, worse, you're used to, like, snapped twigs, harpy feathers, and, like, the outdoors. As a kobold, you're super great at, at like, the forest and the underdark and the caves. You are really struggling with the city right now. It is not something you are used to, and you've lived in the city for a while, but you've come to realize that tracking in the city is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's possible, but you realize it's a skill that needs to be honed, and this is going to be a challenge, but the importance is there. Mm. Um, oh, rip that. Wait, wait just a minute. Uh, I'm going to pull out the Orb of Sending. Okay. I'm going to try and contact Scarlet. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to say, Scarlet, where are you? Everyone is worried about you. A short little while um, passes, like maybe a few seconds, and you get a response back. Panic, I'm fine. I found my dad. <sighs> Woohoo! Oh. oh no! Panic almost <laughs> drops the sending stone. Rose is like kind of consoling this little boy who she's got who's also kind of crying. It's like, I want him to play in the recorder. Like, kind of crying. Definitely, there seems to be a very general overarching feeling of distress here. The kids especially seem to be, like, not happy. Panic, what did she say? She said she's fine. She found her father. Oh. She didn't tell me where she was. She just said that she was fine. Well, can you, can you message her again? I can't. It's only one a day. Uh, I'll... I'll kneel down to the little boy. <laughs> hey, hey, it's okay. I just want to play hot crust buns. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to pull my guitar from my back. Uh, I'm going to try and play cr hot cross buns for him. Okay. Uh, roll a performance check. This is... It's hot cross buns. You it really have to... Wait, hold on. Do, do, do you know three blind mice? Because that might also be good. <laughs> 27. <laughs> you play... Look, I'm just joking. I know you're trying to play a simple melody, but man, if you put the effort in, this would be a really spicy cover of a hot cross buns. A masterful cover of hot <laughs> cross buns. Fucking most metal hob cross buns ever. He kind of reaches out to your guitar. Do you let him touch it? Yeah, I let him touch it. I'll, I'll show him what strings to play for hot cross buns. He plucks the strings. The moment he hits a minor key, the string snaps. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he just starts crying, and Rose kind of comes down and consoles and kind of hugs. Like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. She kind of looks at you. Like, I I look back up at her, just wide eyed, the most worried expression. It's, it's him. It's got to be. It is him. 
it probably would be best if we actually let you and the children be under custody of the of the city guard. This might be a little bit uh this might be a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Please find her. Please. Panic panic nods. Task, did you get anything? I'll try one more time, I guess. Yeah. You do have an ability, don't forget. I think you have one where like it lets you sense things. Primeval around. awareness? Yeah, you could do that too. Well, let's see. You can use your action to expend one of your ranger spell slots to focus your awareness on the region around you for one minute per level slot. You expand. Uh, you expend. You can sense whether the following types of creatures is present within one mile of you or up to six miles of you if you are on favor terrain, which I am not, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, aberration, Celestials, Dragons, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and Undead. This feature does not reveal the creature's location or number. One sec, I gotta Google one mile per kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. So that's maybe a block or so. Okay. The, my my better... If, if I had primeval awareness on as we're getting closer, that would be beneficial. I mean, I could do that, but my only other option would be is to hit my survival skill again. Okay. I would say with this, uh, again, with advantage, um, it is difficult because it is not a terrain... 18. Use. It's not a nat 1. Thank God. Um, as you look down, you do begin to notice footsteps in the mud. Not all of Alavast is paved, but there are places where there's mud, and you do see very fast and very small footsteps heading off into the distance. Uh, I give Panic the tuba. I got something. Task, uh, Panic will nod and say lead the way. Uh, to clarify something, it didn't snap when... It didn't snap when I played House Cross Buns. It snapped when, when the, he did. When the child played it, yeah. I'll I'll go up to Rose. You need to you need to get some curses removed on these children. We're calling in all the clerics we can at the moment. I'll look down at the boy. It's going to be fine. We're going to we're going to make it so you can play hot cross buns again. And I'm going to uh, Penny to <laughs> He's just like <laughs> snot, tears. He's just crying, like wailing and wailing and wailing. You get the sense this is like they don't understand why, and he's confused and he's scared and he doesn't like know what's going on. Hey, it's going to be okay, all right? <laughs> I'll fix this. Kind of clutches Rose's uh, leg a little bit and she kind of pats him on the side. Panic, come on! Right. You run off, splashing in the mud. Uh, task. The footsteps are easy enough to follow. Um, as you get to crossway points where tr obviously traffic goes over, it's really hard to tell. Um, and at that point, you see there are people who are witnesses who are around. Um, but your track goes a little bit cold from here because it's very hard to discern, you know, whether it's a halfling's footprint or it's hers or which way it went, if she turned left or right or forward. I, I look to I look back to the other two. Start gathering information from people who actually like work this area or is a little bit more common in a homebody to this crossroad. Panic, do you know what she would be wearing? Um she almost always wears her little bandana on her head. Color design yellow. Alright, so a tiefling with a yellow headband. That that's maybe a red usually it's like a yellow color yeah all right let's get let's get going let's start asking okay you guys see various different shopkeeps uh you see four immediately who are on each corner uh you see a um you see a human selling fruit you see a dwarf who's smithing uh you see what looks like an elf who makes birdhouses um and you see a um uh, another human who looks like just like a simple Fletcher currently conversing with another person. I would attempt to ask the smithy. Okay. You walk up to the dwarf and he's just like, bang, 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 and he doesn't seem to notice you as you walk up to him. Seems like he's just working on horseshoes at the moment. It's still, it's still worthwhile to ask him. I clear my throat. Hey, what can I do you for? I know you're quite busy, but I have to ask. We are looking for someone. Have you seen a small tiefling girl with a yellow bandana run past here? Hey, he kind of leans his head back. 
afraid my nose has been down to my work there, son. But uh, hmm. if I see anything, I'll let you know. Thank you for your time. Uh, hey, same, same. Goes back Gre to work. Greckles would be going to the elf woman. All right. Uh, you see the elf woman is, like, gently putting down... They're very beautiful, intricate bird houses. They're very nice. Um, some have little glass roofs. Other ones are made out of beautiful cedar wood that looks like it just grew into the shape of a birdhouse. She, as she puts them, like, on display, little birds kind of fly into them. She goes, oh, how may I help you? Oh, I, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, I'm afraid my, I, my... Um, I don't have anything big enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's clever, but seriously, I, I'm desperately looking for someone. Greckles will hold out his talon. And uh, in a small puff of smoke, will actually minor illusion um, Scarlet oh. with a yellow bandana. Have you seen this girl? She's a druid, so she's very perceptive. That's why I chose her! Hell yeah. Yes, yes I did. She startled the birds on the corner that way. Uh, she went down that way and left towards the alley. Down that way to the... Oh, it's always an alley. Thank you so much, ma'am. I have to go get my companions. Of course, of course. She kind of looks a little concerned, but... Let's you go on your way. Greckle just full sprinting to find uh, Task and Panic. I guess we'll reconvene in the middle of the street, though. Yeah. You got something? <sighs> I got her. Follow me. All right, and let's right. go. Just gonna head, just gonna head down the way and into the alley. Uh, okay. does, does my string look fixable? Just. Yeah, you'd have to get a replacement string, but you you have those in spades usually, I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're still we're still surrounded by like houses and things, right? Oh yeah, and it's like the sun's going down here a little bit at this point. Um, it's like maybe like slightly duskish. Greckles is going to pull a Welsh and start running rooftop to rooftop, whatever okay. rolls I need to make for that. Uh, roll an acrobatics check just to get to the roof. And I got my grappling hook. Uh, nineteen. Yeah, you're fine. You you climb up one of the drainage pipes and just kind of climb all the way up onto this this like and kind of hot but shingle roof. It's it's decent enough. Gre Greckles will run um, parallel to them just to have that height advantage of visual. Okay. Uh, task and uh, Panic, I want you guys both to make perception checks. Task, you get advantage because you're tracking actively. Hell yes. 24. 21. Okay. Perfect. The two of you immediately spot mud um, on the cobblestone. Uh, that definitely is an impression of a footprint. And luckily enough, it's wet enough that it goes on for a while. Um, as you guys keep on running forward. Um, you guys keep running down, and eventually um, you reach a... Um, actually, I'm going to have to actually... Mm, roll a secondary perception check for me. Actually, no, Greckles roll a perception check for me. Okay. That is a, ooh, an 11. 11. Yeah, you don't notice anything. Crap. You keep moving. Eventually, the footprints run cold in the center of an alleyway. Uh, is my primeval awareness still in effect? Uh, it's been more than a minute, so you have to cast it again. All right, well, I'll, I'll bleed a spell slot to look for anything that's fiend. Okay. You do get three senses nearby. I, I look over to Panic. I don't Panic say anything. Definitely, Panic's one of them. Um, and the other one is like, for the sake of this, it's without, out of the range, but you do detect it because it's kind of unique. Uh, I, I pat Panic on the arm and I uh, point up, I hold up two fingers and point in the general direction where the fiend uh, feeling is coming from. <sighs> okay, let's go. Uh, Panic, I want you to make a dexterity saving throw for me. Shit. 20. You, like, you know when you fall and you break your fall with, like, both your hands? And you yeah. go into, like, a push-up position? Um, you turn to run and your foot clips on something and you manage to, like, fall on, on both hands. Hey, what's going on down there? I, I look back at my shoe. You tripped on a sewer grate that looks like it has been put back in properly. Wait. Guys. Sewer grate. I think she's down there. Uh, does my senses tell me that she's below me? No, she is above. Uh, Tass, like, shakes his head. I'm getting a feeling she's over that way. She's not below us. It's from the surface. 
Uh, I'll I'll briefly gaze down into the into the sewer. Okay, roll a perception check. I'm gonna roll stealth actually. Natural nice. twenty. Oh! You look down. You don't see anything. You see like a rat run by, but you see like you know like the stairs going down, and that's about it. Panic shakes his head and uh, closes the sewer. All right, let's go. Yeah, you just like move it with your foot and just boom, falls into place as you guys keep moving forward. Yep. Um, can I roll an intelligence check to just based on how it was held that if something came out but not necessarily went back in? Sure, you can roll an intelligence check. I will say, yeah. Uh, that's nice. 19. Someone closed that in a hurry. So they probably didn't put it back right. Uh, Greckles will, will go back down to reconvene with the guys just because I'm not sure if that's being helpful anymore. Acrobatics check with uh, advantage. Yeah. And, ooh, that's a 12. <laughs> Okay, you slide, like, you go to slide down, like, um, a bit of a curve of the roof mm -hmm. to, you know, jump onto a thing of crates. But you, like, you get down, you slide really cool, but then you hit the crate, and you, like, full-on, like, face plant into the ground. <laughs> but Ugh. the crates kind of break your fall, so you don't take any damage. Right. But it was it's... not, like, it was great at the start, and wasn't super great. <laughs> but you're down there, and you're <sighs> safe. Panic. Oh, oh. Greckles readjusts his beak like freaking Daffy Duck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ugh. the panic. I don't know what came in or out of that, but it was in a hurry. That's what I'm thinking. I got two fiend but... senses heading over this way, though. Yeah, Task says they're above ground. Well, let's not waste any time. Can we stealth but still move at a decent pace? Yeah, you can. There's crowds. Oh. There's people. Oh, so. hell yeah. Yeah, um, yeah stealth it up. Let's, uh, let's disappear, shall we? Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, 18. Wait, no, 20. That... You got 23. I got Excuse 18. Me. Nice. Panic. Do you want to stealth also? 19. Nice. Yeah, you guys immediately fall into a crowd. Uh, as you do, um, you kind of lose that sense task at this point. It's been more than a minute. And you are now kind of in a busy sort of plaza area. Um, you see that there are like cookie shops, um, like creameries, um, like cheeseries. Shane Borky's not here. Uh, amongst other like more like um, confectionery, like food things. Uh, but your trail does go cold, unfortunately, because this is a very busy area. Any footprints would be absolutely gone. Um, Tat, whether uh, they... Okay. Um, I will say with this, though, as you guys are entering this plaza, I will say task roll a survival with advantages would be very hard, but definitely can give it a try. <sighs> Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, no. And that one on the other side. <laughs> wow. It's... It's really hard to tell. Um, it, the save on this was really high. I'm sorry. Um, but you guys reach this plaza. You hear the sounds, the, the, the mooing of cows and oxen that are pulling large loads of big giant metal canisters of, of milk and cream. Uh, you see uh, a dwarf just stacking like piles upon piles of this massive, like these massive things of Parmesan cheese and other cheeses. Is, um, is, is there like a crier or like a... like? Someone who who's not physically working on a trade, but like selling something to public, some someone that we could possibly get information from. There is a, there is a human. This is very obvious. You won't have to make a perception. But there's a the human dressed up as a jester with like a red nose, uh, holding up a sign for Dolly's Pastries. He's Perfect like, clowns. Oh, Gre Greckles go right up to him. <laughs> yes. yes, clown. Clown. Absolutely, the humble clown. <laughs> Uh, you run up to him. As you see him, like, at first you see happy-go-lucky clown. As you get toward him, he looks tired. He's like, uh, like the Caesar sign guy who's been he at the corner for a He is a true clown, then. <laughs> yeah. Buddy, uh, uh, listen, I got ten gold in for it for you if you can give me any information about this girl. And once again, he'll minor illusion Scarlet in his town. Okay. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Persuasion. I'm actually kind of good, but not good enough with a nine. Let's see, he's going to incite you. He's, he's kind of suspicious. I mean, I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, he rolled a two, so he's an idiot. And he's cool! <laughs> so he gains no bonuses. Woo, cool. Um, I, I sh hey, what's up? He, like, literally, like, kind of, like, looks away and slides his hand towards you. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, immediately, immediately. Just chunk. 
10 gold right there. He just counts it real fast. He pockets it and goes, I did. I saw her with another tiefling. Big guy? Yeah, big, real big, scary looking. Was he red? Uh, yeah. She was red too. <gasps> they, uh, they bought ice cream and left. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, do you know which way they went? Uh, they went down that way, I think, towards the, the Druid Pond. Ah, Druid Pond, got it. Hey, here's another ten. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you. He just throws the sign away and walks away from his post. <laughs> Hawks, <laughs> Hawks, Hawks his nose. <laughs> Thank you very much, I'm there, bird bully. I'm set for life. <laughs> that's a lot of gold for a guy who's working a job like that. Hey, it's fine. <laughs> I got, no, that's how... As, you, as he's walking away, him. as he's walking right. away, you hear him just go, Beep. Even though your heart is breaking, laugh, cloud, laugh. <laughs> Remember, kids, be a snitch. It's profitable. Laughing, right, guys. crying. All right, guys, I got another lead. Although, oh, this is not good. She is with a very large red tiefling. I only have one more. Ch I only have one more chance to burn out another. Uh, another. Uh, you I might can only sense you them one more time. Did he tell you where they went? Yeah, you may not need to. You may not need to do that task. We got to go to the druid pool. All right, let's go. Okay. I would like, because this is just directions, uh, group survival check. Oh, boy. I'm bad at that. 19. 14. Hey. Okay. Oh, no, 9. Wait, no. 20. Sorry. <laughs> Soft 20. Wow. Okay, yeah. It just, you all had to be above a 10, so it wasn't too hard. Um, sure enough, you guys um, walk down a wall. Like, down the wall. Walk down a wall. You guys walk down a street. Um, and as you do, I would like panic. I'm going to say you're going to kind of be leading this. Um, I want you to make a perception check real fast for me. Real fast perception check comes out to a 21. Nice. As you kind of like turn the corner, you do see a bench and sitting on it is Tiengo uh, and Scarlet. I knew it. <gasps> and he's like kind of like resting the elbows on his knees uh, and she's holding an ice cream cone, and she's just, like, crying. She's got tears, and she's kind of wiping the tears from her face. And he's kind of leaning and just kind of, like, talking. You can see his mouth moving, but you can't hear what they're saying because they're too far away. I will approach them. Okay. You, uh, you walk up, uh, and as you do, uh, Tiengo kind of gives you the side, like, kind of double-take glance. And he kind of leans up on the bench. Uh, and Scarlet looks up, looks up and goes... Panic! <sighs> Scarlet. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Slow look to Tiengo. Uh, roll an insight check on Tiengo. Seven. <laughs> he looks mad. He looks like Tiengo. Can, can I, I, we, can, I I always imagine his face with like Lubu's face from the Dynasty Warriors game. <laughs> so god, it would work. It would. Uh, can 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 Task and Greckles inside him? Um, are you guys gonna approach also? Or are you gonna stay yeah, back? Yeah, I, I, I will intercede. Okay, then yes, you may incite him. We're not trying to be threatening. We're just concerned. yeah, not at all. Uh, uh sixteen. He, I gotta see if one of his feats does something. One second. Does he have feet or hooves? He has feet. Okay. But he also has feats, as in D and D feet. Oh. Man, that 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 question would have been a hot button thing for any artist right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like he he doesn't have a tail. He doesn't have the hoof legs. He looks like basically human. More or less, but just obviously has the horns and everything else. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's hard to read. Um, is he just kind of like stares at you? He's not even looking like annoyed. It's just a very neutral expression, but sure. because Tiengo naturally has a very frightening presentation, uh, it's a hard read. He's I mean, the red death after all. Yeah. Well, the fact that it's Tiengo, I'm just like. I'm, I'm not going to, like, you know, be up in arms about it. It's just, oh, you had her. I'm sorry, yeah. my, my internet cut out once again. What happened? Uh, no read on Tiengo. No one could pass the check, so. What the it's, fuck? It's, it's, it's odd that I, I think we're all a little bit happy <laughs> that she's with Tiengo versus someone else. 
he looks over to Scarlet and goes, you know him? And she looks at him and goes, yeah, he's my friend. Uh, Panic, this is um, Tiengo. We've met. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have. You said you were with your dad. Is this... Uh... She kind of looks down at the ice cream, which is melting quite a bit. And Tango I'll, just kind of stands I'll up. Press, I'll, I'll press the digitation in the ice cream to make it colder. <sighs> Looks like you have this in good hands. Looks to you, Panic. What happened? She mistook me for someone else. See you, kid. And he just walks away. Oh, bye. Bye. Can I incite that statement? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Yeah, that's really... Hmm. 11? Uh... No, can't get a read on him. Frick. I'll, I'll sit next to... I'll sit next to Scarlet and I'll press digitation her ice cream to, to make it stop melting. His theme song slowly gets quieter as he leaves. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Goes into the sewers. <laughs> hey. Hi. We're worried about you. Her eyes kind of quiver at that. Want to tell me what happened? We were trying to play music this morning and I couldn't do anything right. And the adults were really mad about it. So they told us we could go and play and I I heard some things I shouldn't have and I got really mad and I yelled and I got in trouble so I said I was going to leave and just kind of looks down at the ice cream. Wait, never come back. They said you might be what's causing your music not to work. For someone you know. Panic sort of a thousand yards stare at that. Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to find out in a bit, though. Um. I thought he was my dad. Yeah? He, she kind of nods. He was working in an alleyway, and I asked him if he was my dad, and he said, maybe, and shrugged. <laughs> and he rolls his, eye, rolls his fucking eyes. <laughs> that, that's, such a, that's such a Tiango thing to say. Tash just looks over at Greckles. Does he really want to be included in almost everything in some way? I mean, just look at the books that he's reading. Sounds like him. Yeah. We talked a little bit. And what'd you talk about? Our moms. Yeah? He said his mom's gone too. And just like me, she died to help me. Hmm. Can't say for certain. Lava. I'm sure. It was birthed from lava. Mother's love can be powerful. Mm hmm I miss her a lot, you know. I don't think she's coming back, ever. Wow. The Tiengo man said that where we're from, people who have tieflings don't stay around very long. Yeah, I guess so. But... Well, it's not all bad. Panic? Yes, Scarlet. Can you ask Omelette Ma to make music work again? 
What a great way to get around the stipulation. That's so what good. An amazing way. That's good. It That's sounded. So good. It sounded like a oh, Digimon. No. Oh no, it's Omelet Ma. As we all say, pointing at him when he shows up. Omelet Ma. Omelet Ma. <laughs> I don't know. It was hard to hear the name, and then when they said it, everyone was like, "Don't say it. Don't say it." Did I say a bad word? No. Is it like a, is it like a swear? Like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's the worst swear I can think of. Not not omelet ma, but don't say I it. I can I mouth it to her? Sure, try to roll a This is gonna be hard. I'm gonna roll an her... intelligence check and I want you to roll a persuasion check this would be. Okay. Actually yeah, per performance. Let's do performance. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 28. <laughs> there we go. Scarlet, bless her sweetheart, is not the smartest. So she kind of looks at you and goes, Omber mom? You know, close well, enough. Just, just anything, anything that sounds really close to that, don't say it. It's really bad and it makes, it makes music stop working. Is that why it's not working anymore? I think so. But panic is on the case. Okay. Yours. She looks over towards you, Tass, where you have the tuba. Yep. I'd... I want to play it again. And you will. In time, I'm personally in sure of that. Thank you. She takes it from you. You guys are basically like the same size, so it's easy yeah. to change. Same color too. Yeah. Oh, she person. reaches up and she takes off her bandana. And she reaches over and she ties it around her, your wrist. You promise, right? We'll look down at it. Roll up my sleeve. I promise. Okay. One tiefling to another. Horn swear. Horn swear. And I, I sort of like hook my horn into hers. Ow, ow, ow. Shit. Ah, shit. I, oh, I didn't think oh, it no. would hurt that much. They're locked no, up. No, it's... Hang on. Uh, here. No, your face is... God, oh, it's so spiky. Uh, sorry, hang on. Can yep. I roll a medical check to help this out? <laughs> I'd, roll a, I'd say Greckles and Tass roll both strength yeah. checks to grab one and the other. Ooh, 10, right. 17. Yeah, 10 is what you needed. So you guys both grab each side and you, you pull them apart. Uh, maybe just... Maybe just pinky swear for now. Okay, pinky swear. I, I give her the pinky swear. The human swear, and she takes it and she... <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Rose is going to be really mad with me. She's only mad because she's worried. I want them to like you. I want people to like me too, Scarlet. Sometimes when you're like us, it can be a bit difficult, but uh, with enough gumsy and enough swagger, you can get your way pretty much all the time. Just take after my lead and I give her a wink. That sounds awesome. <laughs> eh, sometimes. All right, I'll I'll reach my hand out to grab hers. Okay, she takes it. Let's go back. Yeah, let's go back. You guys walk back to the. Um, you guys make it halfway there uh, when guards kind of f find you guys, um, and eventually you guys are escorted back to the uh, school for gifted children. Okay. Um, Rose is fucking thankful um and like the moment she sees scarlet it's just like full on like full body tackle hug like <laughs> and like checking to see if she's been injured checking to see if she's like got a hair out of place it's very caring rose definitely seems like that type of person yeah she kind of looks up to you and goes thank you okay thank you nod Oh, your shoes are so dirty. We gotta get you cleaned up, okay, Scarlet? Press the okay. digitation. 
The best spell in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Wiggle fingers. <laughs> All right, let's go inside, okay? Rose. Thank you. Yes. We need to talk. Okay. Go with the guards, okay? Go with the guards. And she kind of shoes over uh, Scarlet, who at this point, like, Doros has been doing paperwork and then just kind of looks at the paperwork, throws the page away and reaches down and kind of grabs Scarlet's hands and kind of leads their back to the, the temple. Rose Her entire kinda... hand must only be able to eclipse, like, maybe a section of his pinky. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely, definitely discrepancy <laughs> there. And, and even, like, like Grinelda just picks up the paperwork and just kind of goes, well, that saves time, I guess. <laughs> just kind of, like, noting down things. Um, nervously, Rose kind of steps aside. She told me you mentioned me. I have my concerns. It's just about him, isn't it? It is. I haven't seen anything like this before, whether it's a curse or something else. This could be the end of Livercia. The end of music, the end of everything. If children can't play music, you know what will happen, right? Well, they'll be a lot less happy, for one. It will be the end of song as we know it. As Bard, I can't let that happen. Do you know anything else? He of the One Body Choir is a slowly mutating god. So a I've heard. Devil, more so. He lords over a single realm. The realm of various, Discord. The realm of Discord, yes with various other devils there. If you go there, legends say that he eats voices. And that's all I know. I might just be ignorant, ma'am, but if this creature can evolve as a form of being, is there no way that music can evolve around it? It's not so much evolving as it is deteriorating, turning into one thing to another. Not mutating. But. Um, she stops herself. Omelette. 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 Um, was. came to be <laughs> through. Um, Osterix. Asterix, yes. I've done, done some reading on the subject. What you may find if you find him in any way through pair or going to his plane. He is no longer what he was. Just know that. Could he ever be fixed? No. Not this far. It's been too long. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She turns around and she walks away. And at this point, as like she walks away, Doros returns and Grinelda and Doros like salute and then head off the opposite direction. One more thing for the fire, huh? We need to get ready to go. We've been to, let's go then. We've been to one plane. I'm sure we're going to end up in another one. You guys make your way back through the tavern. Greckles would like to have a quick conversation on the way, if that's okay. As you guys are walking. Okay. Panic. Can I use that orb? For what? I want to do something fun, if I can. Uh, okay. Roll insight, and I'll roll deception. Okay. Don't worry, it's not bad. It's just for fun. Nine. Nineteen. Trust Greco. Um, Gre Greco, it, it it's it it looks like he's just wanting to do something to like just gather generalized information about like what's going on. He may think he has something planned. 
Trust me, I've tried all I could using what little connections I have. You can't use it again today, but if you want to, just make sure you give it back. Absolutely. So when does this thing reactivate? Sunrise? 12 o'clock? Sunrise. That's a good time to do it. Um, well, you're not going to cast Sending to Orin, are you? No. <laughs> no. Photorealistic. <laughs> S Sun Pie, no. <laughs> uh, you're not going to do please. that, are you? <laughs> I uh I want to thank I want to thank uh, Guys and Gooba for being part of the Unexpectables. Uh, I, uh... Please do not. <laughs> no, no, above game. No, he's not going to. Cause I mean he's a he's a fucking animal for as much as he knows. Animals don't really talk. He fucking does the thing from Terminal Montage. <laughs> Orin, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I shall now grant you wisdom from my wisdom tooth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, just get back. I'll, I'll give it back to you right after sunrise as long as you let me expend a use of it. That's fine. We just cool. need to get to the Underdark now. One step at a time, man. Don't you don't want to go in this? You saw blizzard. what happened back there. Music itself is dying. And what do you plan to do? Panic? Just run in guns blazing? We need to formulate a plan. Crossbows blazing. There we go. Crossbows sorry. flunging. Idioms. I'm sorry. It's almost midnight. Idioms are not my strong suit right now. <laughs> not getting anything accomplished. The longer and we wait, the longer, the more things are going to go wrong. And the more, and the more rushed we are, the closer we are to death. We have to do this carefully. Uh, is this happening outside the tavern? No, they're walking on their way. Okay. Sparky, you are currently uh, having a drinking competition with uh, Vel as she has ended her shift. I need you to roll me a Constitution saving throw. Now it's amazing that we have abs despite how much we drink. Constitution saving throw? Yeah, Constitution saving throw. But Borky, it's liquid bread. 20, soft 20. You beat her. She rolled a 17. Uh, you beat her in drinking competition, and the, the, the tavern goes wild. Meanwhile, in the darkness of the streets, now as night has descended. You guys, we should continue to converse, or if you'd like to make your way home. I, I guess we would just be arguing, like, like, would we, I guess, be arguing about Probably. going quickly versus taking our time? There's Tash just like, children, children, we're all gonna go to Six Flags tomorrow. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, we'll all get fucking day pass. We're all gonna get fast passes tomorrow at six in the morning. We just have to be home now. <laughs> you guys, make your way up. You see uh, Naragan standing in the front, looking kind of like trying to act normal. As you notice above the other guard space, the gargoyle now is sitting there. Ah, uh, oh, above. Hey, Naragan. Yeah. Uh, hello. It's nice to see you all. Yeah. I see I, you, uh, met, uh, you met our second guard. I told you I'd get very, you one. It's a very nice statue. Um, I guess it will scare people away with how menacing it looks. You will be yes. surprised. That is exactly right. Yes. I see. We will not. Um, we will. We will spare you the details. However, we will let you know that you will have a lot more free nights now, should you so desire. Oh, um, thank you. I'm very much appreciated. I have um, a date I would like to attend. So, go There's do it, man. Me. Yes, of course. Very nice. By the way, uh, you know how I sort of bathed in tow. Yes, indeed. Got the other one. No. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit down. Shut if up. If you do toe again, you are in tomato. Did you receive a gift? I I thumb I thrust my thumb towards the orb of sending in Greco's position. Oh, a moon drop. Congratulations. I Thank suppose you. with teleportation now more commonplace, 
It is easier to achieve this one's difficult feat. Well, downplay it, why don't you? Well, I just need to say that people <laughs> spend their entire lifetime searching down the... Um, I'm gonna stand here, and I'm going to... Um, I, sorry, I... Mm. Very good. <laughs> at ease. Thanks. He does not look easy. <laughs> he looks very <laughs> tense now. Tash, Tash just pats him on the arm. He's like, don't worry about it. Thank you. When you have... When, when uh, we're not off on a mission and you have a little bit more free time that's not being occupied by a significant other, we should hang out. Well, the way my dating has been going, that's probably going to be definitely possible. <laughs> I think I might have someone for you, actually. Oh? Uh, I don't know how... Uh, I don't know how interested you would be in... Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, the Temple of... Or oh, fuck's sake, I'm sorry. Ortho. Uh, Ortho. Yeah. Uh, how how are you uh, how are you with uh, being around someone from Orthok? Oh, perfectly. I mean, I'm a dragonborn, so, so certainly yes. Hmm. I'll have to. Uh, I might have something for you going forward. I would be interested. That would be very nice. Thank you, Tess. Mm -hmm. I will let her know as well. Gives you a nod. He's kind of like got this little like goofy smile on his face, like oh, oh gosh, like kind of <laughs> nods. Oh, back at your post, then. Yes. <clears throat> Don't mind the statue. He's a good guy. I believe the one known as Log said he was a hunky punk. Don't attach. Just like, attach, just like whispers, uh, like asks him to lean down so he can whisper in his ear. Oh, yes. Don't call him that. Let, 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 let Log have his fantasy, but I tell him his real name. You've named the statue Frank. Yeah, let's just go with that. Once again, don't worry about it. I pat him on the arm and go inside. He, his eyes kind of narrow as you walk away from him. And he's kind of like, huh? like kind of really confused. Weird human name is the scariest thing we could think of. Yeah, they, exactly. they are indeed strange. There is this one name, which is Faith, which is insane to me because that is already a thing. I mean, that's that's sort of just like a, a tiefling virtue name. I mean, Panic is the same way. I guess you ever so, heard this yeah. name Dante? Who the hell calls him that? It's like some guy who went to hell or something. It's a little silly, yes. Connor sweats. <laughs> <laughs> Freckles looks into the hard camera. What's a Dave? <laughs> anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of your night. And good luck on your mission. May Ilone guide your path. We're gonna need it. Walk yeah, inside. Yes. You guys head on inside. Uh, you see Borky uh, currently, like, just had, had a good time. Not drunk, but really, like, just kind of sitting at a table. Oh, guys, what I missed today? Preparations, oh. huh? Yep. Well, the first thing I did was I kind of angered the person I was talking to because if we're going to this place, I'm going to probably have to talk to the orcs. Just wanted to know if they knew anything, but... The weirdest thing is, and Borky kind of just goes up to panic in the guy's ears, like, Ronfall said his enemy is nearby. In other words, he who should not be named. There are several of those now, Borky. No, it's the one that starts with O. Uh, wait. No, wait. <laughs> no, it starts with S. Most in character thing you've ever done. Thank you. It was an accident. It was. It was the one that starts with S and rhymes with shrill giggity. Forky, can you even draw me a yes on this piece of paper right here? Give me fifty gold. I crumple the paper and throw it at his face. Don't give him fifty. What? What? What time of night is it? Just by the way, it's like ten p.m. at this point. But no. Um, PM. Greco's just gonna mumble something and head upstairs. Um, if anyone wants to, uh, I'm gonna do a deception. If you guys want to incite. Sure, why not? Yeah. Natural one. Oh no. Uh, do I, I, got a, I got a six. I got a. I, I tried, man. Do, do I incite too? Or? Uh, if you want if to. You want to. Greco's Gre 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 is like not paying attention to the conversation. 16. At all. Yeah. 
Panic Grackles. doesn't give a fuck. He's just, just doesn't pay is, attention. Grackles is up to bird shenanigans. Uh, yeah. Is, Bork uh, is Borky, Borky, Borky's left eye is just watching him. <laughs> it's a, uh, Borky, you see Grackles staring at his talent intensely as he's going up to bed, not even looking where he's going. He roosts on top of the dragon head over the over the bar. Yeah, that makes a mess. <laughs> I should no, have bought one of those birdhouses. He's he's going to bed, and Monty, first crack of dawn, he's outside. Okay. Good to know. Uh, as you're actually making your way up, Greckles, um, mm -hmm. you do actually... See if they even notice. Uh, you crash right into Willow. Um, and she's like, oh, oh, she's got like oh, a tray God, of uh. potions. And just just like, like snapped out of a spell, Greckles is just like, huh! Oh! Like, the, the squint eye and then wide-eyed. Hi, oh, how are you oh, doing? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I just have a, a dozen things on my mind. Oh, yes, I actually, um, speaking of things on my mind, um, I finished some of the things you guys asked me to make. Oh, that's, that's um, fantastic. Yes. Uh, speaking of which, Borky, you got your... Wait, you should have got your thing from Iggy. Fuck! Oh, no! It's okay. You got ordered something from Iggy. Um, Chunk comes in with a pen. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll saying. do that. We'll do that. Chunk can deliver. It's just a box of ashes. No, it's the probably going to be—it's it's probably going to be coin purse actually. Who's going to deliver? <laughs> um, she pulls out and she's got a tray. She goes, "Okay, well, I have good news and bad news. Um, the good news is the hardest potion you wanted me to make. I actually managed to do it. Uh -huh. Um, the bad news is I did kind of mess up a few of the poison resistance potions, but I tried my best. I'm usually, I usually do healing potions, but I tried. Um, I, I did. I did try." Um, oh, oh no, that's that's that's. Gre Greckles is like only half in the conversation right now. Okay, um, so uh, here you go. You have one potion of sleep. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sleep. Uh, check the level on that. Why is the absent-minded asshole getting my potions? I, Greckles is actually gonna at the end of it. <laughs> it's just gonna ha it's just gonna be like a pass it off to them. Don't don't worry about it. No, you know you're not. You're gonna drink it <laughs> right in front of Tass. You're just gonna like. He's uh... gonna drink it right. I have to. I have to go to sleep right now. Glug, glug, glug. You're gonna. You're gonna extend the tongue. It's gonna roll out like a fruit roll up. It's gonna. Yes, do I guess it morning yet? <laughs> yeah, birds. Birds have tongues. Oh wait, that's right. They do. Oh, they have teeth. Tongues. No, they right. act. No, the thing you didn't know is most greckles, as birds, actually have two feet long tongues. Where is Willow's fucking? It just never. That's a pangolin. That's just just never uses it. They've actually got really long ass tails, <laughs> and they look pissed all the time. Where's Willow? Uh, she's right in front of me. Ha ha ha. Uh, oh, okay, shit. That means she can pass the highest level. Yeah, wow. Uh, so that is a third level sleep potion. Damn! That's she's pretty happy. Intense. She's leveled up. She's, she's a higher level. That's, that's fucking crazy! Da da! We need, our, we need to get our wizard more action more often. Um, five poison resistance poisons, potions. Oh, total. that's that's fine. What should be that she didn't get it right? And then two yep. invisibility potions. Thing is, we haven't drunk them yet. Cool. Hell yeah. We'll 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 divvy that out as need be. Task, you just wanna. I'm gonna write that shit right down to sweet. You, right. You're gonna be our inventory boy. Inventory she boy. Kinda, she kind of looks at you, Greg, and goes, "I think I'll just take him downstairs." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 yeah. That's, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. Task, and she kind of begins to walk down the stairs. Hell yeah. So yeah, she unloads them all to you. Um, unfortunately, she really fucked up the poison ones and actually poisoned herself at one point, and then oh! had to use one she made to cure herself, and she tells you this whole story about it. Uh, it wouldn't one... be Willow if she didn't self-harm herself in some way making stuff. Yeah, uh, and then the invisibility, the invisibility potion, she actually used it on Bright and couldn't find him for a whole day, so... <laughs> nice! Yeah. yeah. So we, we only got two of them, though. That's still good. I'm, yeah, I'm super all about this. That's a spell that she does not know, so it's harder for her if she doesn't know the spell, so she has to go out and learn it, um, which makes yo, it Yo, yo, but, but this, 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 this haul that she gave us is pretty okay, so yeah. I am well above uh, satisfied. She's, like, super happy. She's leveled up as a result, and yeah, she's she's got the materials, so definitely higher success rate for all this stuff, so. So, oh, note, yeah. to, note to self, kids. Find, find self-worth and you'll level up. No, <laughs> note to self, kids. Do, do what Todd wants you to do. Just inhale a bird's beak and learn how to alchemize it. <laughs> God. Um, I was in the chess club. 
Alrighty. Dova so. King eats plants and because and learns it. He'll eat a bone. <laughs> I now know what to do with this bone. Uh, as the rest of you guys are sitting there and taking tally, uh, the back doors towards the courtyard throw open, and immediately silence hushes over the entire tavern as you rough the flapping of wings, and you you hear the jingling of coins as drone style carrying a parcel flies in coin purse and everyone like stops and like all the heads kind of turn and watch and then it thud lands on your on your table i believe that's my i believe that i got it day i got a day one delivery actually <sighs> thank you coin purse it opens up its mouth oh. well would you all like to see what i got for our little Dabble into the underdark. Hmm. Alrighty. Do you actually want to? Open its mouth. Do you guys want to? Do you guys want to hear it? Oh, yeah, you get pigeon primed it. Let's go. Okay. All right. Are you going to pay the pigeon? How much is it, pigeon? <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> <It's open. laughs> Panic slams his face into the, into the table. Oh, Borky just takes a single gold piece and puts it in puts it in its mouth. You hear this like jingling noise as it goes down its throat and it clashes with the other coins and it just takes off and like leaves the roof behind it. Oh, used to kind of oh, like man. drain it over. Man, I wanted a cartoon whistle and then like a, a sloshing like splash noise. <laughs> Okay, it then. jingles and bobs as it flies away out the door, and then immediately all of the sound and like the ambiance presumes. <laughs> <laughs> well, panic! Get, stop napping. You gotta see what I ordered. Phony oh, crap. Alrighty, Borky uh, just like kind of cracks his knuckles. You know that thing where someone cracks their knuckles and had their fingers go ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Borky does that. <laughs> Borky opens up the top of the box and reaches in. It is gift wrapped. <gasps> Borky pulls it out. What is the shape of the gift wrapping? Uh, it's like, it's got drawings of, like, um, chameleons all over it because it's from Iggy. Well, Iggy, I think, whatever, you're such wonderful paper. Allow me to run wrap this carefully. Where is the seam? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a dexterity. Or no, slay a hand. There we go. There we go. There we go. Slay a hand for this. Four. You just like, slam you, space you, into it. <laughs> yeah, you literally just grab Ron Fault and just like slam into the fucking thing. <laughs> You're carefully and trying you, to cut it with Ron Fault's tip. And like and like a coconut ripping a coconut and have you just grab either side of the parcel and just rip it open and then your prize falls out from the inside. And uh, it looks it is a crude iron like helmet. That kind of has a compartment, you know, like like a fireman's helmet. Yeah. That has like the front that has like kind of like the symbol on it. Yeah. Imagine that, but that's open, mm -hmm. and there's like a glass panel on the front, and on the inside, it appears there is a what looks like some sort of like lantern, like a flame-based lantern inside. Ooh. And it comes with this this these straps, which you can tell is kind of a leather belt, uh, that go under your uh, under your chin. <gasps> leather belt. Ah. Uh. <gasps> four strength, four, four stand, four strength, leather belt. <gasps> oh. uh, all right, Borky's like, outside, outside now. Borky runs outside with it. Uh -huh. the, through the front or through the back? Through the back. courtyard or to back. the back? Okay. You run to the courtyard um, immediately. After Come on, no! Uh, Borky puts it on his head. And. Puts on the strap under his chin. It fits snugly. It's well. It's well measured. Is there any light coming out of it? Uh, it has to be lit. Oh, can someone bomb me a light? Task, panic. I, I'll, I'll press. I'll press the digitation. Press the digitation does not create fire. No, but it can candles. light. Yeah, it sure can. It can snuff out candles. It can't light them. I will go inside and grab a candle. You do have... Oh, wait, no, you don't anymore. It's gone. No, they're gone. <laughs> they're gone. That's right. Yeah. No, pre I know Prestidigitation... I feel like Prestidigitation... Dead, dead words. I've tried to do that in the past, and I've been denied. So I feel like that's the one limitation. It can't create water really? or, or create fire. Yeah, because there's cantrips specifically for that. There's... there's. Well, don't worry. We'll go with DM rules on that. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, you run inside, Tass. You just, like, you grab a candle off of uh, Helga's counter. And as you run out, she's like, hey. And you just, like, run away with it. Um, and there's a little, like, little hinge door. Like, maybe a very intricate wire. And you lift that up and you open it up. And sure enough, you, uh, you light the candles on the inside. It's, like, a very thick candle. And the moment you do, like, you have dark vision. You're very sensitive to dark vision. You're just like, ah! As the light blasts you in the face. Inside is all mirrors. Oh. This chamber, it's inside, and there's glass in the front. Well, here we go. Bork is looking around at night, around the place. Look at that! It Look. does give a fairly decent directional glow. It's not as far as it could be, but it's definitely, like, definitely beats not being able to see it all. Eh? It's enough enough to catch Hasrod in, like, a bathrobe, like, getting a glass of milk and looking, like, <laughs> stepping, tiptoeing back into the shed, looking at the light. Like a mug of dead rat, and he's like... <laughs> just runs back in. <laughs> you can instantaneously light, snuff out, or snuff out candles, torches, or small campfires. Really? Yep. Okay, well, then I was bullied, apparently. That's fine. Well, who bullied you? Monty. We'll beat him up for you. Friends, apparently. We'll beat him up. Even Bosco slide in here, <laughs> Google's lawyer, and get out of here, Bosco. Love you, Bosco. Speaking so, of which, you guys would know that uh, Remy has gone to the high districts to discuss um, certain defensive measures and things like that. Like politics. All right. So this is what I made. I can't. I don't have a name for it yet, but I was thinking, you know, be great is if you're underground, right? And you can't really see anything, but like, say you're looking at the direction where you want to see things, and light just comes out of your head. Yeah? They say, like, hey, what's that on the left? And you quickly move over there instead. So rather than have it wait for your hands to catch up with your head, your head and the light are in the same speed. I don't know what to call it, but I think I call it a bright idea. Huh? 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 isn't there to facepalm. I suppose. <laughs> Tash ta ta shrugs. Hey, it works for those who can't see, so you and Greg will benefit from this greatly. That's not bad. Oh, Crackles, take a look at this! <laughs> Let's turn the light right at Crackles if he's in the window. Uh, <laughs> if you went back to your room, there is a bit of a glare, like almost like a headlight on the window. Crackles! <laughs> I was about to say, could they see into the window? No, there's curtains. I imagine you have your curtains drawn. Uh, not yet. So then, yeah, you would immediately, like, as you walk into the room, there's just, like, you get in, there's, like, light blasting in from outside. Grexels is actually unmoved from that. He's just staring at the orb. Like, he's in he's in bed, like, trying to sleep, and he's just staring at that orb. Okay, so if we're in the underdark, the oh, offense, I got abs, so I should go in the front. That way, if anything bad comes my way, I'll see it coming, rather than having to have someone go, Hey, look over there. See that? Yeah, I helped. No, it does work, Forky. I uh, and, and here I thought you just purchased a mining helmet. What's that? When Tass explains to him how you like Tash just looks at him and goes, "Oh, well." A, a great dwarven invention. Yeah. I trust it. Uh, the dwarf the dwarves created this thing called a pickaxe that would break away at walls and make tunnels, and Eight. my people have adopted that. Hmm. Science. I call it that. Sure. <laughs> it's dig Tash just like digging. Sure, I guess it could be a science. I mean, those tinkering boys back home called it that, but I just thought they were smoking. They were. Geology just... doesn't exist yet, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Geography. Right. Received your guys's uh, made goods from both Willow and from Iggy. You guys decide to retire for the night. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Well. Uh, I, but the only other thing I would want to do is just like I don't know, hang out with whoever's at the bar and like have one more social night before we head out into the wilderness. For sure. Who would you like to schmooze with? Who is there? Hasrod. Hasrod. Uh, Hasrod is not because Hasrod is Hasrod, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Zotira and Arlo are still gone. Um. That's weird. That is weird. Louis Strog is around, but reluctantly. Um, don't know where Scarbles is. Um, a couple of gnolls are in. Uh, definitely a large assortment of people. More gnolls tonight than usual. Um, a few dwarves as well. And Helga, uh, Skinny and Meryl are gone. They end at night. They go home. Especially Meryl. Meryl leaves, like, right before nighttime hits. You know what? Fuck um, it. I'm gonna go out in the front and just hang out with Naragan. Alright, yeah, for sure. It's, it's 
Man, it's a time. Um, roll, roll a charisma check this, with advantage, because you know Naragan, and the save on this is going to be fucking low, because, like, to him, you're, like, his only friend out of the party. Like, Aww. no offense, but, like, oh, you make the most yeah. effort to, like, talk to him out of everybody, and, like, you don't see him very often, so... 19! Okay. He laments to you how he lost his previous, like, girlfriend he was dating. It was one date. Um, apparently he's like, he's like, you know, I, I, I told her that she reminded me of the moon because, you know, so big and bright and, and by big, I didn't mean like, you know, chubby. I mean, she's, you know, she's not, she's very healthy and that she didn't take it very well. And that was the end of that date. And he's like going through all these bad dates he's had. You learn he is not good at pickup lines and he is like, he's about as smooth as a sharp edge. <laughs> so. This guy has no game. Yeah. No game I, at all. I will, I will pretty much just tell him that, like, after hanging out with Panic for so long, it's just like, you're trying to, you're trying to flaunt peacock feathers that you don't have. Hmm. If, why saying... not just be, why not just be straightforward? Um. Hmm. Trust me, I, I know the burden of not being straightforward with someone, and I feel that someone I had eyes for may have that that entire situation may have just slipped from my fingers entirely. Yes, I waited. I... Whoop. Uh, yes, I mean I understand this. It's a very risky endeavor. You 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 open up your heart and I just get so nervous all the time. Narag and I have trust issues. You don't seem like the person who does. Uh, well, you know. Unless you want to prove me wrong. No, no, it's just like I just don't want I want them to trust me. I don't want them to think I'm bad, I think is more or less my issue. Was the person you tried to court with, was she a Dragonborn as well? I do favor the Dragonborn, yes. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> kind of like, he just kind of like wipes his armor a little bit, like, kind of like... <laughs> I, will ta I will tell him, I will regale him about Athena. Okay. You do so. You you mention her beautiful golden scales, her lovely mustache, um, amongst the other what? details. What? Yeah, she's a gold dragon. She's got a mustache. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Sorry, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, she she brings it kind of back, but yeah, she's she is a female gold gold dragonborn. So yeah, she does right. have a bit of a I'm, mustache. I'm sorry that that completely <laughs> went past me. I'm like, hey, female guard. Yeah. 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 No, it's it's just an aesthetic thing. Um, you do, and you regale him, and he seems interested. He's trying to figure out when to go, though. Like, that's that's his thing. It's like, well, I have to do this on this day. He's, like, trying to figure out the time to align it, but you definitely seem to get the idea running in his head. I will I will just tell him, like, listen, she has a lot on her mind going forward. Her father just passed away. The, the, the high priest of the temple has actually passed. It was her father, and now the temple now belongs to her, and she has a great weight on her shoulders. Oh, well, I, I am... could help. I could assist. I'm very good at taking inventory and... Uh, preparing holy water though not in their particular faith but um task, actually, thank you i i think i'm gonna cancel this date i'm going on it doesn't feel right you know what i mean like it's we met from a mutual friend of a friend and it just doesn't seem like it doesn't feel right you know do as you see best thank you i appreciate it mm. uh panic what would you like to do before going to bed uh Panic has had one hell of a day. He's going to go to his room and try to repair his guitar string. Okay. I will say roll a just a straight dexterity check. Okay. 11? You need above a 10. So yeah, you do it. It's hard. It's a frustrating process. Uh, but it manages to work. And then Borky, is there anything else you like to do before going to bed? Borky, no, no. Borky's good. Borky's got the, he's got his his shiny helmet, so. Okay. His bright idea. You guys, thinking on the matters at hand, the severity of the situation, questions, and your companions now, you're going to have to leave them behind once more, as you trudge into the unknown of Alabast and depths you have never seen before. You all sleep calmly, restfully, except for you, Panic, an uncertain future before you. And as the lights dim and the moon rears its head, 
that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yeah. Tomorrow, nice. you depart from Alavas with items in tow. And I hope you guys are prepared. Oh. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the magic of the game. Thank you. Sorry, guys, for the extra little bit shorter session today, but... Um, it actually managed to match up quite well based on everything. Yeah, I was actually like, I was like, oh, good, I get to kind of do this. All right, uh, night, Austin. Take Later, care, Austin. Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Uh, we are on episode... 90. 90. Yeah! Ten Let's more see... episodes, guys, till we get the big one oh oh. Let's see if we live that long. Hey, that's that's cryptic. That's quitter. No, it's talk. being very realistic. That's quitter talk. Alright, got a All lot right, of people so... I got a lot of people I want to thank, but first of all, we gotta get through the closing statements. Zito, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Zito. Uh, this week will be a stream of I am on observation duty. Uh, a game about spotting ghosts before they get you. Uh, beyond that, Mord Howe, The Adventures of Eep, more indie games. Don't know when, don't know how, don't know why, but this will all probably happen sometime over the course of the weekend. Have you heard of, uh, uh, there's an indie game, I don't know, I think it's coming out on the Switch, and I don't know if it's available elsewhere, it's called Last Self. Move? Self. Oh. It seems weird, and I, it has piqued my interest, I, I kind of caught it. Um, I will have to check that out, I've never heard yeah, of it. Yeah, it's like a weird, like, it looks like like some sort of weird psychological game. Sorry, I just the talk of indie games made me think of it. No, 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 that's fine. I'll check it out. <gasps> so that's me. Awesome. Goomba, where can they find you? You guys can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Gaijin Goomba. We've been continuing our yokai lock for Pokemon Ultra Sun, where we can only use Pokemon that have uh, mythic backgrounds uh, to real life folklore. Um, possibly going to be screwing around with Neo tomorrow, just because I've fallen up with that game all over again. Uh, no stream for me this weekend, but I usually stream at uh, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Though, at the con, if I get bored enough, I might just do a face cam thing. I don't know. We'll see. Awesome. Hey, Distortion Devil Lou. That's me. Where can they find the Rue you? Uh, they can find the Rue me uh, on Twitter, at CNL Snake. They can find me on Twitch, at Distortion Devil. Uh, where tomorrow, taking the day off, Friday, it's going to be Friday Funhouse. Well, uh, this week is sort of uncertain for streaming because uh, I got to prepare for my sister's wedding, which is Woo! coming up in about oh, a week. Yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. It was actually a big uh, a big news story in uh, St. Charles. That was, it was on the news. I watched it before we started the session. Your sister's wedding? Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I see. It's, uh, it's uh, I guess you could call it Pride Month related. Oh. Oh, okay. That's 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 good. Ah. That's good. Yeah, I won't go into further details because, uh, oh boy, <laughs> is it a situation? Oof. Mm. We will. We will. Uh, I, I want to. We'll get more into that later. Hi, Monty. How are you doing? We're gonna. Oh. Hi. Wait. wait hold on, Connor. Did you finish, did you plug everything? Yeah. Nadine. Hi. What's up? You can find me at, at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, I'm not going to stream tomorrow. I really need to rest because I it's been a really good but really hectic uh, week. And I actually want to sit down with a friend of mine and actually work on the Unexpectables with him because Ooh. I want to get some. Um, he's, he's a veteran. He's been playing tabletop games forever and he's like a really close friend of mine. Um, but I'm like, I really want to workshop with him. Um, so I'm probably going to spend tomorrow potentially seeing if I can schedule a time to hang out with him and do that. Um, and then, so nothing nothing will be going on tomorrow. Um, but Sunday, I will be streaming at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue uh, with Divinity 2 Original Sin. We are the baddies. We are <laughs> not good people. Um, we, I can't remember where we left off. I think we killed a guy. Yeah, we just straight up murdered a dude. We've been murdering everybody. Yeah. Oh. And like, our gods really want to see ghosts and I am not comfortable with eating ghosts. So. Human flesh though. It gives us superpowers how though. Do you eat I a don't. Ghost? You eat their source and you become evil. That's how you become, you eat a ghost. It's like crazy. Okay. So, um. Yeah, no. Um, and beyond that, uh, keep your eyes peeled. I have some stuff maybe that should be coming out here in the next month or so. Very excited for that. So I will catch you guys then.
Neato. And you can find me right here tomorrow. It's the big pay-per-view. It's time for the Nexus Skyline Theater. The drama, the intrigue, tomorrow night. Starting at 6 o'clock, we have a pay-per-view. And Friday, we will be doing the Fan Art Showcase in the early afternoon, at least my end. And that is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for swim switching over there, and uh, thank you. I got a lot of people I'd like to thank real fast here. If you guys got to head out, I understand. Um, Tralter Skelter, Crazy Person 23, Zach Oduo, Studio Fan, Alistair 86, Xylestea 911, Zandraus, Gino Kaze, Dynamite 36, Zephyrus 101, Mr. Nani. Thank you all for the subs. Dragon124 as well. Thank you so much. G Javon456 for 2,000 bits. Just wanted to say thank you to everyone in the cast for having such a much fun role-playing. I was even inspired to start my own Pathfinder stream game with my friends. Though it didn't work out due to technical difficulties, we still play every week. I just started my internship at NASA and wanted to show my appreciation Ooh. by sending some bits your way. I'd have sent more, but I have to save up and pay for my last semester to get my BS in mechanical engineering. Thanks for everything. Thank you for the 2,000 bits, and con congratulations for starting your internship at NASA. Holy crap, That's man. Cool. That, is, that is a cool place to work at. Uh, Warnari, think with Just a thousand. Now, when, if you get hired there, anytime something is difficult, you guys say, "Come on, guys, it's not rocket science." Okay, that must be banned from that building. That <laughs> has to be banned. There had to have been yeah. a meeting. Yeah. Guys, if I hear it one more time, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> uh, Link highly. I think about the five thousand. It's new to your sub, but longtime fan. Currently catching up on YouTube. I wanted to stop by and say hi. You guys are amazing. Five thousand. Bits from Link Hylia. Thank Damn. you so much. Caster Gaming, thank you for the bits. Saiyan Wolf 10 with a thousand bits, so nothing has changed since DZ is always theater of the mind. Ha ha! Well said. Hey. Uh, Eric yeah, hopefully, Zahn. Hopefully, this will be a re resolved for next week. It should be. It should be fine. Yeah. Javon456, Eric Zahn, Nova Jen, Crazy Meta, and Clown Captain. Thank you for the subs. Overlord Corn Nut as well. Thunder King with a thousand bits. Here's some Clover bits for good luck. May all the Nat 20s come your way. Thank you so much. Arjun Lyle, thank you for the bits. Defective Sheep, thank you for the bits. We had three people roll three Nat 1s in succession. It was, yeah. and, and they were all Zito. Uh, no, yeah. no, they were... No, no it was there, Panic, too. Oh. And there was... I had one-on-one -on -one ends as well. That was succession of three people. Dino Might, I yeah. want to thank you so much for the 500 bits and then Log of Ed Wheat Grass Shots. Oh, shit. Super Blue Hedgehog, thank you for the 1,006 bits. Also, when does Greckles, uh, when when does Greckles learn the the Raijin Jutsu? Ooh, that's hard to say. Uh, soon, 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 soon. Super Blue Hedgehog. We're already with a thousand bits. Happy birthday, Monty! Please just give, give please give a piece to the bestest boy, Tarisk. Aw, thank you so much. Yeah. Emon Tizzle with a thousand bits. I am here, and you guys how have bits to show it. Ugh! Thank you so much for the thousand bits. Shiny Lamp, thank you for the bits. Cable McDo with the 500 bits. Episode title, Daddy Issues. Uh, <laughs> we'll go out with the 500 oh, bits. Bagoom, no, it's not Monday. The Tolls with 500 <laughs> bits. Episode title, Minor Sound Problems. What about om Omelette Maw? Omelette Maw. Omelette Maw is pretty funny. Omelette Nah. A Blackfoot Ferret with the Leap Bits, 1,337. More Rainbow Confetti. You get flags. You get flags. People say a paternity test or a paternal hell. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the elite bits. Trollster Skelter, thank you for the sub. Daisy Head with the 500 bits. Samani, take us away to a magical land. Well, we just came back. We just got when back. last we left our heroes. <laughs> when last we left our heroes. I'm gonna do from uh... Shit, that's good! Yeah, that I know. I was thinking about it the whole time. Now everyone's in chats caught on to it. I'm really happy. I'm a... Forky was gonna say that. I'm gonna do from uh... Outlaw Tor. Thank you so much, everybody, for the bits and subs. Uh, Blackfoot Ferret as well. Thank you again for the 9,001 bits. Thank you, everyone who dropped bits. Really appreciate the support for the Unexpectables. We will be back, of course, with the Fan Art Showcase this Friday and, of course, next Wednesday. I want to thank you all so much for all the support. Is there anything else you guys would like to say to round us out? Uh, uh, we love I, you. I do have uh, one thing. Yeah. So, uh, uh, I don't know if, how uh, much you guys are into uh, EN publishing. There are a bunch of guys who do five uh, five E content. They make a lot of homebrew. They actually made a uh, a book called A Touch of Class that gives you uh, 
seven classes, uh, nine classes to play with. Uh, they're making a new book, a touch of a more touch of more class, which is actually going to be dropping on Kickstarter on the 18th. I read that book. It's really fucking rad, and I think it's uh, something to check out. Oh, um, can I quickly plug some info about the con I'm going to be at? Yes. Yeah, so of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to be in the Pasadena Convention Center uh, in Houston. It is Retropalooza. I've been there multiple times before. Um, the uh, Jay and Billy are uh, running it. They uh, do they're the game chasers. Um, that's going to be this Saturday and Sunday. So if you're in the general area or if you're going to be there, hey, I hope to see you there. Sorry, just just, just a quick plug. What? Don't. Why are you apologizing? We. <laughs> We're being quiet. Uh, this was an serious. awkward. It was an awkward silence. Uh, Who do you want to raid? I'm raiding Sh uh, Shadow Dancer. Bob streaming. Oh, is he? Oh, hell yeah! Uh, we're raiding our boy Bob. All right, Bob. everybody. Thank you so much. We will be back with a full session next time, and we're going to be heading to deep, deep into the dark. None of us better be fools of a took. No, no, no one be a fool of a took. Not a single person be fool of a took. Bum ba hildy bildy bum. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Land down under. Down.